Okay, hello, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, thank you for your response. Um, it's uh, one o'clock now, no? we need to mag start and uh, please let uh, your classmates, okay, to join the meeting. Para ito nang uh, ipalayo no, ang ito ang discussion for this afternoon. So for those um, viewing no, sa itong uh, live stream sa Facebook, of course, you also comment na nakaina no, para mas ma-check na itong attendance. And um, pwede pa rin ito mag-comment or shout out po ninyo para ito mabasa ka lang sa itong Facebook live stream. Of course, so this afternoon, okay, naka-live stream ato ang subject Agriculture Extension and Communication um, Review. Okay, LIA Review. So for those um, mga nag-self-review po, no, pwede mag-watch aning itong video and uh, maka-help po ni sa inyo, ano? Yes, um, sa itong mga Facebook live, okay dito sa itong Facebook. Yes, good afternoon. Mama Rivek Sampiano. Okay, and for the others. Where are the other na? No? Para start na rin ta. Because um, maragdagang patag topic yun nung no? kailangan Ninyong may balaan sa itong subject ng ag extension. Yes, good afternoon from the uh, PBCC, Sir Patrick James Sompia and um, Riyami Anyanya, Anyana. Yes, good afternoon. Sinasa pangantukan ron, no? good afternoon and tiapod sa atong Surigao del Norte State University. Good afternoon sa mga naminaw. Sa atong mga Facebook viewers, yes, good afternoon and uh, other pag sa atong mga students na nagtanaw sa atong uh, live stream. So you can uh, watch or you can replay anytime na para ma-post po din nato ang ato ang um, live stream siguro pwede na to ma-post nga dili ma-erase and do a good day ko naka-record ko ganina sa laptop and hopefully our live stream will um, have a copy no para ma-post yun nato ang ato ang discussion 
on my um on my account and of course para ma-review pa ninyo, na ma-review ninyo para mapaminan niyo balik-balik ang ato ang discussion on the agricultural extension and communication. Okay, so for those of viewers na nasa ato ang um, Facebook, so you can share our discussion no, para mas dagang pa maabot and um, dagang pa maabdan sa, sa atong topic. Okay, so our time, it's 1.7. So by 1.10, let's start. No? Um, na natin 16 participants from the Zoom and uh, four from the Facebook Live. And hopefully... Madugangan pag yun sa inyong classmate na wala pag yun kaganina. So no, thank you sa participation sa PBCC and to the SNSU. So again, ha, sa katong um, mamansor no, sa uban, no, paki-rename lang no, para mas may balan ako kung pila ang sa PBCC o pila ang sa SNSU. No? your school, then underscore your name.
Yes, hello. So, kagaya na natin, uh, 24 participants from the Zoom. So, karoon 6.15 na lang. Um, waiting pa ko sa 9 or at least uh, 10 no? sa inyo ha. To join the Zoom. And we have 5 or 6 from our Facebook Live. Okay, so for this afternoon as um, we continue our discussion. So, before we end our morning session, we discuss about education concept okay because our topic or discussion this afternoon is on education and extension concept the philosophy principles and objectives so as a review as a review on the education concept yes we all know that education is a lifelong process of learning and it starts from the earliest infancy through the adulthood And the education is a continuing process of bringing about desirable changes in the behavior of human beings, which involves a variety of methods and sources. So what are these? No, because education is a continuing process. And what are uh, these desirable changes in the behavior of human beings? Sa itong mga changes. So we have the increase in knowledge, acquire new skills, and better attitudes of course so for that the definition of education can be equated with as a learning regardless of where how or when the learning of course so that is the definition of our education now are the concept of education in extension okay now let's uh, proceed to the modes of education na tayo tulog ka mode of education. Kung sa ganyan first one, we have the, okay, so review can be um, on your mic if you want to answer. What are three modes of education? Kung sa itong first mode. Kung sa first mode na to, sa itong education, we have Informal education. Okay, the first mode of education, we have the informal education. Okay, so this informal education, again, um, it is the, li uh, the lifelong process by which every person can accumulate knowledge, skills, and attitude from the daily experiences. So, makuha na ito na sa pang-adlaw-adlaw na ito ang mga gipang buhat, di ba? That's informal education. For example, the attitude of the family and friends. Uh, from the travel, we, uh, we educate, ma-educate gaya punta no? from travel kung asa tapadulong, asa atong location. So that's uh, education gaya punta, informal. Uh, reading newspaper and books, listening radio, viewing films or television. And the second mode, o sa itong ikadohang mode sa education, we have? Formal education. Yes, we have the formal education. Thank you. And the formal, it is highly institutionalized, chronologically graded, and hierarchically structured education system. So structured siyang education system that starts from the primary and reaching to the university education. So for example of this, um, for example of this formal education, of course, ato mga basic education, natong Um, elementary, high school, the post-secondary, and tertiary education. We have also the graduate uh, education, mga masteral, um, PhD na to, and padayon. No? So, basta kay eskwela na to, it's a formal education system. No? Uh, that is conducted in the universities, in the school, or uh, in the campus. No? Mga nang atong formal education. And ikatulong na to, o sa to ikatulong uh, mode of education, Non-formal education. Yes, we have the non-formal education. And that is our agricultural extension. It is a part of the non-formal education. Okay? We educate people that is outside the campus. Nabisag, dili, dili, dili sila estudyante, no? Magkandakta sa ilahag uh, training, magkandakta sa ilahag method, na usang extension method at magkandak sa ilaha to train no to train them nga dai sila ma-acquire nga bag-ong skills 
diba? That's the non-formal education. Now, it is a systematic, uh, organized systematic educational activity that is carried out outside the framework of the formal system. Now, as a summary, no, unsaid difference anang atong formal o non-formal, of course, the formal is for future application. Non-formal is immediate application na no, kanang uh, tuduan ta karun, of course, ma-apply na to the so. And the formal is, of course, pas mga kabataan, kabatang unan, or aron no, marag trotool na magyapon, kaya of course, bisa magawa na nagbasa sa edad, because bisa, sa panang edad, at least makaiskwila ta, that's part gyapon na, na part na sa formal. Pero generally, it's on the youth, di ba, sa mga kabatang unan. And for the non-formal, of course, heterogeneous ang atong non-formal, uh, the youth and adult, that is our clients na in the non-formal. So, mga na atong mga estudyante, but klasi-klasi, no, sagol atong mga estudyante sa atong non-formal. So, sa formal, it is fixed curriculum, but the non-formal, which is our agricultural extension, is based on the training needs of the clients. No, dili ka pwede magpataka og kandak og training, magkandak og um, pag pagtudlo sa ila ha, nga dili nila gikinhanglan, di ba? Unsa pay pulos sa imong gitudlo, nga wala man ila gikinhanglan. Naa naman na sa ila ha. So again, based on the training needs. And again, the formal is in the classroom and the non-formal it is where the people are. So kung asa, no? Kung asa ang tao, kung asa sila didto ta magkanda. Okay, and the formal after sa imong pag-skwela, uh, sa elementary six years, high school nga six years, college nga four or five years. So na na kayo marisim nga degree. O na kay degree and of course na kayo marisim nga diploma. And on the non-formal, for one day lang, no, at least one day of training, one day of extension na activity ng imong maapilan, of course na, matagan ka og certificate that certificate of participation or appreciation nga naka-appeal ka sa training and of course nga ma-apply pud nimo sa imuha no na totally nga mag-appeal lang mo training nga dili pud ninyo i-apply okay that's again immediate application atong non-formal if we want that training no gusto pud nato na i-apply sa ato a dili kay tama na tag maminaw pod no apa sa taya pod no snacks mura gyud nato pa sa training no pagkaon so nga na gyud mo ban but o uh, dili nato ma-apply diretso ang ginatudlo sa mga expert di ba sa mga resource speaker nato so that's the difference of the formal and the non-formal education okay so mo to atong uh, discussion no? kaganina sa atong education concept now on the concept of extension ang support ang sulod sa atong extension okay when you say extension extension it means to extend na extend nato to spread or to disseminate the useful information and ideas to the rural people outside the regularly organized schools and classroom no extend our services spread the information disseminate the useful information so that is the extension i put pag disseminate of um mga information nga dili pud useful sa mga farmer or sa atong kliyente so mo na atong extension na extend spread or disseminate information it is also extending mo lang ginayon na ko nga extending of a service or a system that extend the educational advantage of an educational institution to the persons that is not able to avail a formal education. So in short, ang extension, muhatagtag services sa mga tao na katong dili nila maka, di sila maka-avail nga makasulod sa eskwilahan. No, dili maka-eskwila. That is the concept of extension. We want to educate them bisag wala sila sa uh, eskwelahan sa classroom mataga nato sila og serbisyo nga <clears throat> ma matudluan nato sila so mo na ang meaning sa ato extension okay 
So therefore, katong akong duha ka definition nga giingon, um, extension totally, it pro it it is providing people with educational opportunities and services outside the boundaries of the school. Yes. Na tinuod na again ko ang atong education is uh, the learning process of where when or how our extension is providing the people with the educational opportunities and services outside no the boundaries of the school so maghatag tag uh, oportunidad nga matudluan nato ang mga tao ang ang mga kabatanunan, ang mga adult, ang uh, mga farmer, ang usa ka grupo ug makahatagtag serbisyo sa ilaha. So outside the boundaries of the school. Because uh, we all know that extension, university extension is uh, not for enrolled students, diba? Magkanta ka extension para bagi na sa estudyante. Because no ang uban of course nahimo magi mo estudyante ni uban diri mga teachers na kabalog yud no kabalog yud mo maman sir nga the the, the extension na agi na sa atong curriculum sa agriculture we can that extension to the community no we can that extension to the community not to the students dili para sa ato ah. because even students ta natay subject extension ipati in agud mo no magkandak mo og training needs assessment in your barangay, in your uh, rural and urban areas, no sa gikinahanglan nila, then mag-conduct na yung taong training. Now that's the concept of extension. Okay? We will provide them the educational opportunities and services. Okay? That's the concept of extension. Okay? Do you understand? Sabdan ba? Yes, sir. Anyone? Okay, uh, comment lang. So pwede mo magdingog yun, no? pwede mo mag-on uh, sa inyo ang mic if mangutan ako. Okay? So thank you. So no, again, no, that's our, the concept of our extension. So uh, ato lang nahibal ang uh, education and the extension concept. Kung sa di konsepto anang education, kung sa konsepto anang atong extension. So, Kung sa day rule na extension. Kung sa day rule na extension, nganong na ay na ay atong extension. What is the rule of extension? So the rule of extension, it bridges the gap between the research system, okay, the research system na to, and the client system. We will deliver the extension activity that is based on the result of your research to our clients. Now, that's a very important. Now, di kayo mag-conduct lang mo research no, in your school or in your own uh, research nga wala po ninyo na gidisseminate ang result sa mga farmers, sa community. Di ba? We conduct research to disseminate the result to the farmers. Kung more on agricultural atong kuan, di ba? Or to the communities. Now, that's the rule of extension. Manang in uh, the SUC, of course, ang role gives atong state universities and colleges or uh, functions atong SUC natay um, four, di ba? Fourfold function. We have the instruction, the number one function of the SUC. Again, instruction to educate the, our students. Then, natay research. Important na sa SUC na, na ganda og research because according to the history sa atong uh, Philippine hatagan kita na tayo Moral Act of 1862 land grant colleges to conduct research center, demonstration center. And then that research, the result of your research is uh, atong spread ang information, spread ang result, disseminate ang result. Mo na ang matawag na ito nga extension. Ikatulong nga function sa atong university. Extension, mag-conduct ang extension activity to disseminate information to the farmers or the specific beneficiary nga gusto nimo hatagan og information or result sa imong data after that of course sa isa ka rule sa function sa atong university is um 
the production. Okay, or the ripe na lang, no, kanang hinog. R-I-P-E. You have the research, instruction, production, and extension. Now, that's the fourfold function of the SUC. But the role of extension, again, it bridges the gap between the research and the client. Kung si gusto nga matunan ni client, may balaan niya, it is based on the research system, based on the result of your research. Naman nang i-disseminate ni mong information, of course, that is extension. Okay, you conduct extension activity. Okay? So mo na ang rule sa atong extension. Bridges the gap between the research system and the client system. Okay? So that's the rule of extension. Ay kalimot, kaya naagid na ang mga pangutana. Kung sa rule sa atong extension, it bridges the gap between the blank and the blank system. So, kabalo na mo sa answer no, the research and the client system. So, we can see that the extension is a well-planned program of bringing the result of agricultural research and technology to the rural people in many ways in order to bridge the gap between the scientists and the farmers. Yes, no tinood. Unsay result no sa akong giniingon kaganina, unsay result sa atong agricultural research and technology. We will um disseminate that result to our rural people. Bisa unsa nga paagi, bisa unsa nga pamaagi pag disseminate in order to bridge the gap between the researcher and the farmer. So mo na ang concept sa atong extension. You bring the result of your thesis. So, nagkandak mo thesis. So, kung may mga instructor rin, nagkandak mo research sa inyong eskwilahan. Oh, what's the purpose of conducting that research? For publication, for kwarta lang. No, for dissemination of the result. No, sa result sa research dito sa farmer na to. Conduct the extension activity. Yes, that's the second uh, purpose na to. To publish that research para mas ma provide pag yun, mas taas pang dis uh, dissemination sa information, di ba? Na spread out. But again, na totally, nga ang mga farmer po um, master anang mga technology karon So, kanda get the extension activity. Now, di ba tanan farmer mag-search sa imuhang research? Na mag-search sa Google sa imuhang research? Dili na sila tanan maka-access. So, better uh, way to disseminate is to conduct extension activity on where the people are. Diba? That's the um, concept of extension. Kung asa sila, dito na to. Di kayo mga tagtag kuan um, result nga wala sila. Okay? So muna ang cool, no? Kung tanaw na to ang extension, that's the rule of extension. The concept of extension no bringing out the result of the research to the people in order to gap to bridge the gap between the research and the client system so our research matong mga scientist mga researcher nato and the client is our farmer and other groups or other organization so mao na ang atong extension Again, um for the information of everybody no sa ato ang extension kailangan nato na sabton no kay ang board exam dili tanan definition unsa ang extension it is based on the application based on the anali uh, analysis kinato kung unsay atong buhaton kung kana nga mga panghitabo ang naana di ba so nang we need more examples on the extension dili kay mo, mo base na lang ta sa mga definition sa naa sa libro ato nang sabton no kay kung di nato sabton ang atong definition yes wala gyud ta no wrong wrong gyud atong answer ana so manang extension is taas kayo ang mga pangutana taas kayo ang choices pud as kay basahon murog boring kayo basahon but that's uh sa part na na i-comprehend nato di ba i-comprehend nato atong sabton ang atong comprehension atong sabto na siya kay that's so very important in the board exam especially in the subject na agricultural extension no 
last day ba ina sa inyong board exam and of uh, uh, hope ask you mo ay okay. need analysis naman ni eh. naman ang kailangan ta masabdan kung extensionist mo mas maayong mas mas uh, nakabalo mo sa application ani kung sa ang gin ninyo pagkandak sa extension activity kung technician kung patong wala pa yung mga work yes ato parang sabdan kung sao na to na important yun na apply na to na no kay bisag student pa mo na apply man ninyo nagkandak man mo extension activity kung sa gibuhat ni di ba so manang kailangan ninyo timanan na sa atong extension. Okay. So all forms of extension take education to the rural people. Yes. Any, any type of extension, no? any forms of extension, it will take education to the rural people. We will educate the people. Mauna ang concept of extension. Thus, extension is a teaching designed to produce sa i-produce ni extension. First, changes in the knowledge of things known. Pag mag-conductag extension, again, a extension is to educate the beneficiary, the client. Unsa dayon ang ma-produce niya kung mag-educate sa atong client. First is the knowledge of things known. Mas, okay, kung naan ay knowledge ang atong uh, client, mas madugangan pa. Diba? O kung apay knowledge, mas makakuha siya knowledge sa, sa bago niya nga natunan. Diba? Knowledge, isa niya nga makuha. Kung sa pagbid ang ma-produce niya. Second, the changes in skills of things done. Yes, mag na change iyang skills of course maka learn siya skills nga bag-o iya na gid ma ma practice so na i changes in skills of things done third the changes in attitudes of things felt so mapaka produce siya ma change ang atong attitude kung unsang atong gibati unsang atong uh, na, 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 na feel ana nga nga technology di ba nga atong innovate or ato bang i-adapt, di ba? So, ing ana ang ma-produce sa extension. No? A teaching designed to produce the changes in the key is A, K for knowledge, S for skills, and A for the attitudes. Kimo na ang konsepto sa extension. Okay, so ato na na-discuss yun ang education and extension. So, meaning, that is connected no um, directly connected no positive gid sila because extension is an education and education is the way to conduct extension activity so manang ana lagi nang sila dua di ba it's uh, related uh, positively no related directly ang atong education and the extension um extension activity or services. Okay? So, man ang konsepto nilang duha. Nagsagol na sila duha, di ba? In the final, ato ragin maingon na ang extension is an education or educating the people. Okay? So, Nasabtan ba sa, sa Ubandia and uh, for sa ato mga viewers sa itong Facebook, live stream. Okay ba? Nasabtan ako ba? Yes, sir. Okay, thank you. So, reply mo ako. Okay, Matingan natin. Basing wala naman ang minaw diya. Okay. So, mauna ang atong concepts sa atong education and extension. Okay, now. The philosophy, we discuss the philosophy of extension. No, oh, say philosophy upon sa extension. The philosophy of extension is of course not a belief, beliefs, not a ethics, not a values. Now when we see belief, it is one's mental conviction or it is a view of the world or acceptance of something true or actual. Kung siya itong gituuhan, kung siya itong pagtuo ana, di ba? Kung siya pagtuo na ito ang mga technology, kung siya itong gituuhan sa mga actual or atong gituuhan yun, di ba? That's belief na to para sa ato ah. or i-accept ba nato ang 
um, gitudlo ni extension agent, ang um, gitudlo nila ma'am answer or so bagin ato bagin ni buhaton, di ba? That's your belief. The ethics, it is the principle of right actions or conduct as defined by profession, society, and the nation. It is also referred as the ideal of conduct. No? Naita ethics, principle of right actions or conduct. In the values, it is something regarded as desirable, worthy, or right. Now, the values is the intensity or degree of valuing something that may change in time. Okay, so yung mga values nga nakuha na ito, tama ba ng atong asal, mga asal nga na gi, uh, gipakita na ito, di ba? Worthy mala siya, or desirable ba na nga mga asal na ito. Okay, that's the belief, the ethics, and the values. So, the philosophy of extension education. Ano sa'yo mga filosofiya sa atong extension education. So, nga nung natin extension, asa di ay ang extension na ito? Kung sa'yo di ay purpose, ano nga itong extension? What are the philosophy of extension? Okay. The first philosophy of extension is, so atong basahon, it is an extension program it starts where the people are with what they have and the improvement can begin from there. So, muna, ang extension program, magsugod na kung asa yun ang mga tao, kung unsa po ang naa sa ilang nga mga resources, that's very important. No? Unsa nga mga resources ang naa sila, and of course, kung asa sila, na ilang resources na available, na improvement nga, mahatag na to sa ilaha. So as an extension agent, kana nga pilosobya. So dapat mo mangita ka unsay suit nga mga or unsay bagay nga technology nga pwede nimo itudlo sa mga farmer. Di ba? Unsa nga technology ang pwede nako itudlo sa farmer nga naara pod ang resources sa ilaha. So but before that, magkandak ta again the first step gyud nga before ta maka-train training needs, di ba? Kana gyud tag training needs nila. But based on their needs, so say uh, top one no, sa ilang needs sa uh, matong mga farmer, tanawon po na to, kung kana ang ilang needs, available po ang resources sa ilang community, sa ilang palibot. Because if available, of course na improvement. But if mag-conduct ang training, uh, for example, sa mga training um, on the vermicomposting on that uh, particular barangay pero wala wala sila ikan ang mga resources kung lang sila mga pangbahog manggaling so dili gyapon ma-improve ang a technology nga imo hanggi hatag sa ilaha wala improvement nga makita nato kailayo pa kay lang adtuan para magkuha lang bahog di ba so again dapat ang extension program nato asa sila og unsay mga resources nila what they have okay that's the first philosophy of extension. The second, the classroom is where the people are, in their farm, in their homes, and or even in their barangays. Okay. So that philosophy, of course, bisag-asa ang classroom nila. So meaning, bisag-asa ta mukanda o extension services sa ilaha. Pwede ta mag-farm and home visit. So visit sa ilang farm, sa itong mga farmer, mag uh, story istorya mo kung sa mga something problem, kung sa uh, mga needs nila. So mo nang maki at, at least sa imong pag-visit, makita ni mo. Makita ni mo ang problem yun no, sa Osaka farmer. Madiscuss na po ni mo da yun kung sa uh, kailangan na solusyon ang ang mga problema. Because anywhere ang classroom sa extension. So, uh, uh, the philosophy of extension, bisag-asa ang classroom. Pwede ka makatudlo o sa dalan. Tudloan mo sila. Okay, makato ka sa ilang balay. Yes, pwede ka makatudloan sa ilaha. Or mas may mga tuyo ka sa ilang barangay. Yes, kanda ka meeting sa ilaha. Tudloan mo sila. Or advice ni mo or uh, hatagan ni mo o mga solution to their problems. 
problem sa community. Maing ana ang atong ikaduha nga pilosopiya sa extension education. Okay. Third philosophy, extension programs are based on people's need and decided by them. So mo nang ginaingon na ko, the first thing to do to conduct extension activity or extension program is kailangan na ito tanahon kung unsay gikinahanglan sa mga tao. Unsay gikinahanglan nila sa ilang community, sa ilang barangay, or sa ilang munisipyo. Diba? Unsay gikinahanglan nila. And of course, it is decided by them. Sila yun ang mag-decide, Ana. What's their priority to learn? Unsay training, unsay needs na gusto nila ihatag nato sa ilang ha. So as an extension agent, imong buhaton yun. Survey, mga magkanda kang survey sa ila ha, mangutana ka, and you gather all that data. So dito na makita, majority ng decision sa uh, kadaghanan, mo nang gusto nila matunan. So that's the philosophy of, the third philosophy of extension education. Again, it starts where the people are and what resources they have. The classroom is where the people are. And the extension program are based on the people's need. Okay, that's the philosophy of extension education. The fourth one, people learn to do by doing. Yes, the basic uh, philosophy of extension education ng atong may balaan. Na ato na yung nabasa, ato na yung nadunggan. That the people learn by doing. So of course, as an extension agent, ang ato magamit po ani nga extension method is the method demonstration, no? Atong ihatag sa ila step by step procedure on sa ona to pagbuhat. So while doing or while teaching them on how to do that particular technology, kana magtudlo ka sa ila on sa ona pagbuhat. Example, vermicomposting. On sa ona na on sa on sa mga step ng atong buhaton. Imo nang buhaton well kamulo kag kan bitaw um uh, discuss sa ila ha i ako nimo imo pud nang buhaton kay kita or ang mga client nato di learn if we um do in the actual di, di ba atong buhaton yun. so mao na ang uh, ikaupat nga pilosopiya that's a very important yun. no people learn to do by doing So pag makita nila, na makita nila ang uh, gibuhat na to, of course, ilan ang sundon because we have that procedure. And they learn. No? Munang makayot nga, na, nakalearn yun sila because ilang gisunod ang proper way, the proper procedure to do the vermicomposting, to do the soil test key, uh, analysis, um, sa pay atong mabuhat diya. So muna siya ang atong kailangan ihatag sa ilaha. Mga di kayo totally nga nag-discuss ta So kung ikaw extension agent sigra kag discuss but wala ni magipakita. Wala no wala ra gyapon murag no sa atong learning on the sa atong mga next slide kung sila tag paminaw gamay ra ang learning nato ana because pero kung atong makita at pagigibuhat na minaw pa ta 90% ng atong learning ana mas nabuhat nato so nga na gyud na siya sa so, kay na minaw lang ta nga di pud nato buhaton wala gyud pagitay makuha nga learning. So mo na ang uh, important rule ni um, farmer sa atong client. Okay? Mo na ikaupat nga philosophy sa atong extension education. Ikalima, education is carried out with group or with individual. Yes, that's true, no? Because education is again a lifelong process of learning. Bisag ikaw ra isa, bisag wa kay ka group, ka grupo or within the group. There is education. So because education is carried out with the group or as an extension agent, uh, you will educate the par farmer if na laila mo sa isa ka grupo laila mo mga expertise nga matudlo nin ninyo sa mga farmers or even ikaw ra with an individual as an expert, you educate na nakikakayahan po nga maka-educate po sa atong 
mga farmer. So, any one, say, ikaw ra isa, or within the group, or with the group yun, education is carried out. No, the extension education is carried out. So, kimo nang ikalima. Ikao nung, the extension works with and through people. Yes. Effective. No, effective ang atong extension ng gikanda. Because the extension works with with the people and through the people. So, atong nahatag, no, nahatag na ito ang servisyo sa mga tao. And of course, for the participation of the farmer sa atong extension activity, there is a successful event, a successful extension. So, meaning, it works with and through people. So, muna itong extension. And, the, kapay na ni, The next philosophy, the spirit of self-help is essential in a democratic living. So, ang pinaka-importante ng filosofiya, you should help yourself. The man should help himself. Okay, tabangan ni mo imong kaugalingon. Di kay magsaligra ka sa obat. No? Self-help is essential in democratic living. Because as a, as a client, no, kukamo ang kliyente, the extension worker will conduct a training sa inyo ha, na technology nga ihatag, ipatrain sa inyo ha. If wala kay something, um, di, di mo i-adapt, so wala good, no, dili good successful. So, kung i-adapt ni mo, Siguro uh, advantage ni mo mas dako siguro pag productivity or yield sa imong pag-uma if gisurod to nimo nga technology nga gi-conduct na extension um sa pagyud no daghan daghan pa kag makuha gyud di ba ng mga knowledge skills so if dili nimo tabangan imong kaugalingon to uh, to learn of course dili gyud no wala walay wala tay ma down down sa inyong kaugalingon wala tay wala tay makuha so meaning sa atong farm kung gamay ra tagkita gamay ra gid tagkita kay dili man gid no man gid tay self discipline wala tay disiplina sa atong kaugalingon so that's the very important self help gid tabang imong kaugalingon para buhato ni mo to no dili magtinapulan so especially po sa inyong board exam this is very important sa inyo ano The spirit of self-help is essential in a democratic living. Na bagsak niya punta kung di nato tabangan ang atong kaogalingon. Okay, so you should help help yourself. Okay, tabang yun na imong kaogalingon rin yun. Imotivate yun imong kaogalingon. Nga buhaton yun na nimo. Okay, that's the very important. So kay Dennis sa review. Maragay po nag-extension ta, maminaw gid ta. No? Di kay nag-onra ta <coughs> kini nga tong Zoom or uh, Facebook Live na tulog na ta. So wala gyud no? Wag yun na ito gi, gitabangan ang atong kaugalingon. Okay? Para makapasar ta. So again, it's a review, no? It's a review. Nakalimot na rabagid mo sa mga discussion sa inyong college. So tabangi inyong kaugalingon nga. Mabalik inyong ideas on this subject. No, kung natudlo ni sa inyo ha, mas maayaw na ma madumduman ninyo, di ba? Nga na yun, minaw ta. So, dili ta magtulog-tulog lang diha. Okay? So, mutubag po da and you share knowledge if na amoy additional information sa akong giniingon, yes, you can open your mind. Ano yun na? Para mas, ato pa nang masabtan ma yun na no, ang atong ipasabot anak. So, okay, maunang atong philosophy sa atong extension education. Okay, so naalang tayo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 na no, ka-philosophy of extension education. So ako lang i-discuss next ang um, <coughs> extension learning process. How we learn no, on the technology na gihatag sa mga extension agent. So, extension learning process A change or any change in behavior which takes place as a result of experience 
is called learning. If naalay changes atong behavior uh, from our experience or from the result of our experiences, mo nang gitawag nga learning. So naatay learning nga nakuha because nausab ang tao kay nakatoon siya. Naatay something changes gamay sa atong self. Because we learn. That's very important. So learning is a process by which an individual through his own activity attains a change in a behavior. Okay? There is changes. Pag na ay changes in mong behavior, na kay natunan. Diba? Sa karun, kung sige na kagkatulog, pag matanin mo karong hapon, while nag-open sa inyong Zoom, simra gyapon inyo hang panglihok, simra inyong nauna. Because wala may learning na nakuha, bisag gamay man lang ani na subject. Kaya gikatulgan raman ninyo. But if naminaw good mo after our discussion this afternoon, uh, karong adlaw, naanay changes. So meaning, nakalearn na ka. Kung sa'y changes ninyo, on the next part, sa next week sa inyong review-review kada adlaw, gamay na lang inyong ma-review because nasabda ninyo ang i-discuss karon. No, gamay na lang din nga part ng katong ikalibdan yun ninyo. Diligid nga extension na focus mo one month, one month ana, labi na gamay na lang inyong preparation. No, bahilong yun ninyo ang unong kasubject. No, November hapit ng board exam. August na po hapit. Diba? So, ang lear, uh, changes ninyo is okay na, di ba? Nagkahinahinay nga. Okay, nasabda na ko rin yung subject. Proceed ko sa laing subject na mas lison-lison. Okay, so nga na na siya. So, for this learning, for the extension work, again, a learning, it is an active part of the learner, ha? Dapat mauna ang part sa learner. Mauna ang part nato as a learner. So, ako, learner, manggigapon ko. So, maminaw ko sa uban. That is our active part. Natay learning na makuha. Minaw ta, no? Dili ta magtulog lang, dili ta mag kaban lang. So, that's why, um, kining inyong review na gusto gyan po makana gid no mas mayo ma-discuss gid ni in personal no kay uh, kining zoom gadwa do gid ko kung maminaw ba gid ang tanan no ang tanan so gusto gid ko makana pero of course na may policy sa inyong university so ato na lang sundon okay so um mo na no ang atong part sa learner makatuon ta so ang usay role ni extension worker din ani Kung learning ang part ni um, learner, ang essential rule sa itong extension worker is to create effective learning situation. Karang naapod may matunan, di ba? As an extension worker, ang say rule na ko, so dapat mag-create kong effective na pagtulo sa inyo, ha? Di ba? Something, dili ninyo malintar na pagtulo. So extension worker, magtulo din sa inyong i-anak yun na ay mga extension method strategy ng iyang gamiton para mas makatuon mo. ba? So, iyagin ipasabot sa inyo ha. And then, dapat ang environment conducive po sa learning. ba? Kaya kung rabi po kasaba, palibot, wala, wala tayo matunan. So, there are factors na atong ipang consider po. So, munang si extension worker ang inyong rule anak para makatuon ang inyong mga estudyante you create effective learning situation. Okay? So, ako gusto yun ko personal yun sa inyo ha, no? Para mas masabutan. But this, of course, natay policy. Um, unta, no? Pisagaan nilang sa itong Zoom na nahatag po na ako, no? Ang inyong gusto matunan, di ba? Gusto matunan ninyo sa agricultural extension. Because again, this is more on analysis. Wala agad ko ihatag nga muna yung atong definition for that. That is, ana nga na nga na. Okay. No scientific name. Pray scientific name. Ano nga, kanak lang yung dapat nato yung memorize. Because it is more on analysis. No sabto na to, ang Osaka definition sa extension definition on that word. Dili kay word by word atong ginamemorize. So we have to comprehend no the meaning ang naragit importante. Okay? So, muna extension learning process. <clears throat> now, who are involved in the learning situation? 
So, kinsa man gyud ang involved sa atong learning situation. So, the, there are elements. There are four. Okay, there are four elements of learning situation. So, the first one, um, teacher. No, isa gyud ka element. Isa gyud ka element sa ato ang uh, learning situations. The teacher. Because the teacher, if wala ang teacher, wala yung instructor, di ligid po naman makatoon. Okay? Kung saan yung pagtoon niya, wala po magtunlo sa ito. Pero kita, pwede naman kita makatoon sa itong kaugalingon. But, of course, with the help of the teacher instructor, mas natay knowledge, mas natay dugang knowledge nga uh, makuha. Okay. So, the teacher or instructor understand the nature of the learner and it is in position to evaluate his motives and ability. So, as a teacher, kung kamo teacher or instructor or a resource speaker, uh, you have to understand the nature of your learner. So, meaning, ikaw ang ikaw ang resource speaker for that, part, uh, for that activity. Kung asa nga lugar. So kung ikaw palang di-invite sa mga extension agent or bisag ikaw extension worker, ikaw as an extension worker, pwede po ta mahimog instructor, di ba? Kay ikaw man kita na magbuhat, yung mga rule. Dapat ka ba luka sa nature sa imong learner? Kana akong, kana akong mga kliyente karon, kana akong uh, mga participants karon. So ka ka ang nature nila kay para ma, ma mas ma ma kita nimo or mapasabot nimo sa ilaha or unsa imong gamiton nga method sa pagtudlo nimo sa ilaha kay for example uh, as a teacher instructor tapos ang akong mga estudyante mga farmers sa pinakasuok na gid nga mga distrito and of course uh, dili dili sa pagubos gyud na sa ato ang mga farmer because naaman makabaligid in english murag dili gyud nato bay magamitan ng ana Diri na ito magamit na ng English ng mga pagtudlo o pagpakita sa atong mga visual aids sa ilaha. So, ang usahin mo gamitin mo nang dapat ka baluka kay ah, mga dito rin akong mga kliyente. So, muna akong gamitin. Magbinisaya ako. No, kay dili ka on the whole duration of the training, whole duration sa atong klase, nag-in-English ata, pero ang atong, ang atong kliyente. Diba? Tanaw na ito, ang nature sa atong learner. Masabtan ba nila atong discuss if Mag-inigli sa mga farmer pag yun dito sa uh, suok pag yun kayo nga uh, na agyod mga low, wag yun na kahuman o college, dito na taman high school, dito na taman elementary, and wag pag yun na lead sa uban. Mutunlo ba tag English tanan? At gipakita pa nato ang mga visual in nato ang grab English po tanan. Diba? Wala. No? Wala yun nato na na met ang expectation or na nakuha ang sakto nga pagtudlo no sa sa atong mga learner. Kung sa ano to, kung sa ano nila pag-learn. Yes, nabasa nila na ano sila pasabot. Tapos sigurado kag in English idea na kabalo sila sa English word pero kasab kasabot ba? So mo na evaluate nimo ang uh, nakay position to evaluate the motive and the ability of your learner. And then you select those experiences which suit to the abilities and needs of the learners. Dili kay nagdiskus ang ang teacher instructor, ang extension worker or ang usa ka usa pa diha mga resource speaker nga layo ra kaayo uh, ang imong mga plenty farmer pero imong gitudlo more on about dito na sa mga asa na mga mga technology ng mga pambartilyo mura mag asa carpenter imong kuan farmer man ka di ba mura layo ra so is select ang mga experiences you select examples that is related sa imong subject matter okay dili kay mo mugawas ka sa topic nga wa pud sila ka sabot okay mao na ang role ni teacher instructor and the teacher or instructor has the ability to maintain the better human relation yes that's the important role no sa ato ang teacher or instructor maintain better human relation understand na yung mga participation with the farm with the clients or the, with the students and of course 
um, sharing of information. So, nakamintin ta og better human relation for that. Okay? Mga nang uh, unang elemento nga makatuon ta. Dapat na ang atong kinsang naa. Okay, participation ng ipangita. Kinsay naa na to? O the first element ang Teacher. Yes, thank you. We have the teacher or the instructor. So the second element. Yes, of course. Magun sa ang teacher kung wala ng atong learners, di ba? Na ay tunluan, na ay mga students, na ay kliyente, the learners. So the learners dapat na ay clear objectives regarding the use of the subject matter. Okay. Kabalo sila unsa ilang tumong nga nga naa sila. Unsa tumong nila nga naa sila. So meaning dapat makatuon sila ana nga technology. Ana nga mga subject matter or ana nga topic sa imong gidiskas. Okay? Klaro imong tumong nga nag-ana ka dili kay nag-apilan ka ana nga training, dili nimo gikinahanglan ang giapas nimo is nakra. Paniod dura. So that's that is not <clears throat> no di na maugyod so na kay klaro nga tumong nga gusto nimo ipaabot o gusto nimo matun-an ana nga topic okay and as a learner dapat interesado ka sa subject matter yes what if uh, magapila lang kag discussion pero dili ka interesado because again sa akong ginaingon lagi interested lang sa mga snacks sa unsa pa pagkaon diha mura gyud interested nato kinai libre dito ra gyud mo appeal pero what a interest sa seminar or training nga apilan so kamo nga learner so kung kamo mga appeal sa training or inyong mga ginikanan as uh, mo appeal sa training kay mga farmer man ta or uh, inyong ginikanan uh, full time farmer so dapat na interest nila subject matter ay pag yung night ay Basi makapilang mo rito tungkol lang sa pagkaon. Dapat na makatuon mo na yung per tie. Makatuon mo nga magamit nato sa atong pag-uma. Ingana ba? Mamaingnan po nato sila. Nainteresado sila sa subject matter. And that is that subject matter, hindi lang interested sila because gikinangla na nila. Need nila sa subject matter. Need nila. Maunang needs nila nga matunan dapat nila. Okay, mauna ang role ni learners. In, na interested ka niya, gikinangla ni mo siya o klaro ang tumong ni mo niya. Diba? So, sa so pagpanguyab pa mo, na yung kailangan na kay clear objective, na kay interest niya o gikinangla ni mo siya. Diba? You have objectives, interest, and the need for the subject matter. Na naay tumong ba? Na ay klaro. Dili kay ana-ana lang away klaro. So, kung lang, Sulod lang ang nangabutan nga, way klarong objective. Okay? And the learner, your part is uh, dapat na ability to understand and opportunity to apply the subject matter. Yes. Na kaya nga, imong masabtan. So, kung saan yung pagpasabot, nangutan na ka sa teacher instructor. Unsa sa pa sabot yan, sir? Kung sa pa'y uh, deep pagit ana. Di ba? Sa pa'y mga examples ni mo, ana. And, na kay opportunity to apply that subject matter. Okay, sa so imong natun-an, imo pud na kina-apply. So na na kay uh, opportunity nga ma-apply nimo ang ginatudlo ni teacher or, or instructor. Okay. And the very important pod sa part sa atong learner, dapat na kay physical and mental preparation. Yes. As a learner, kamo student, kamo nang nahimo tag estudyante. So dapat naataan nga preparation, the physical and mental preparation. Manang ginaingon gay nila nga physically present ka, pero ang mental nimo absent ka, murag wala ra gihapon ka. Physically present but mentally absent. Na wala nimo gi, gi prepare ang duha. So if you are physically present, dapat mentally present pod ka. Okay, present ka to uh, present sa klase. Present ka sa training. Okay, na physical preparation. 
Tapat, again, kailangan nato ang mental preparation. Dapat ato ng masabdan. Marag natay, uh, gina prepare po nato atong utok na morning ako, focus karon nga masabdan ako. Okay? It's very important. Nalabi na karon, di ko makain o physically present kaya wakta mo nakita sa akong atubangan but naaraw mo sa Zoom. Yes, physically present na lang. But I don't know if you are um, mentally present. Diba? So ako lang, that's important din natin. No? Physic physical and mental preparation as part of the learner. So kamo mauni. Mauni ang inyuhang rule. So naikarang objective. Kung sa objective ninyo nga nag-appeal mo ani nga ng klase. Because para makapasar mo sa board exam. May mo umog agriculturist puhon. Kaloyan sa ginoo. Interest. Dapat na aking interest ani nga subject. Because ag extension is lisod kayo. So gusto na ako na nga mahibalan noon sa pinaas sa ag extension. Dapat gikina of course need manggid ni subject. Because it is need one of the six subjects sa atong board exam. di ba? Kailangan na ito na. So kailangan ta mo appeal sa klase. And ability to understand. Sabto ninyo ang mga definition. And then you apply that subject matter. Yung nasabtan. Ah, okay. Mo da ito. So marang ginayon na ako. Not more on the theory. Not more on the words ta mo, mo base. But atong sabton. Ma-apply mang gulay na ito. Pag masabtan na ito. Ah, mo da ito. Dapat trabaho on extension worker. no? Sir, no? kung ingan na ang sitwasyon, sir. So... Mo na itong iyang buhaton dapat. Or kung ako mahimu ko extension worker or technician sa, L, sa among uh, LGU, ingan na di akong buhaton. Yes, ingan na. O kung ako mahimu instructor, sir, ingan na di dapat akong buhaton. So dapat na kayo mga ingan ang mga ideas karon ron. Well, nagtudlo ko, sukadra ka ganina. Dapat na ingan na. And isa na yun na physical and mental preparation. Especially sa board exam na yun po hon, physical, mental, emotional bagit appeal pa na um, spiritual o sa pang mga preparation kumplito dapat sa imuha po okay, sa pag-take og board exam okay, again ha, mauna ang akong gustong ipabot sa inyo nga nag-appeal sa ato ang review karon sa atong Facebook live nga nagtanaw yes, kana agad ang atong gikinanglan okay? so matong ikaduha nga element sa atong learning situation ikatulo The subject matter. Okay? The subject matter. Yes, a very important element. Ang content sa ginatudlo. Okay? Isa na, kay, na na ang instructor. Diba? Na na ang instructor. Na na si learner. Kung sa'y kulang para makatoon ko, of course, ang topic, ang subject matter na i-discuss ni instructor. So, kung sa'y dapat na ah, kang subject matter. Kung say dapat na saya, of course, the subject matter or ang topic na i-discuss ni instructor should be in line with the needs and interest of the learners. Okay, in line. No, kaya nang um, tawag na, connected, gikinhangla na ninyo, part na siya sa board exam or part sa akong training needs. Kung ako'y farmer, part na sa akong training needs. Gusto ko mapilag vermicomposting na seminar. Kay mo na ang akong gusto. Mahibalan. Diba? It should be in line. Ang content sa subject matter should be in line. And it should be valid, authentic, factual, and available. Yes. So dapat valid po. Imong ginatudlo or ang kanang mga mga definition, mga information sa imong ang ginatudlo. That's valid, authentic, factual, tinuod na siya, and it is available. Okay? And dapat, ang atong topic, it should be well organized, plaster, arranged, dili kay money ang stages of crop production, pero wala na arrange ang imong stages of crop production. O, o, ga, tulad na kag, na, putol-putol na, ambak-ambak na imong discussion. Ambak-ambak na imong topic sa imong PowerPoint presentation. So, wala gyapon. So dapat is well organized and it should be at the level where it could be understood by the learner. So mo nang ginaingon na ako, tudlo ka atong subject matter, atong topic. It should be the level where it could be understood by the learner. 
depende na sa atong learner, depende sa atong kliyente. Kung ang atong estudyante, mga farmer, of course, mas may atong ipagawas diya sa uh, PowerPoint presentation o ang atong isulat sa Blackboard, bisaya. No, even napagin maka-understand sila ng English, bisaya ta, general term. Nung mas masabtan, mapaabot, mapasabot na to sa ilaha. Okay? Understood. No, kanang, ah, makikita nila. Understood po, isa po na is, um, dili po nang ginagagmay nga, di po nila masabtan. Marag, kailangan yun, no? Kailangan uh, masabtan sa learner ang ato ang subject matter. So, munang tulo, no, ikatulo nga element para makatuon ta. So, una ang atong teacher, ikaduha ka mga learner, ikatulo ang topic, the subject matter. O sa kang ikaupat, <laughs> the teaching method. Okay, naan naman, naan naman si instructor, naan naman ang atong resource speaker. Naan na po na atong mga kliyente, mga participants naan na, mga estudyante naan na. Then, naan na po ang topic. So, ang, ang kulang na lang, unsa nga teaching method, imong gamiton sa pagpaagi sa pagtudlo unsa nga teaching method so the teaching method it should be readily available okay dapat available meaning the teaching method nga uh, availability example naay mga resources so magamit kag powerpoint karon na na, na na kay DLP na nakahan ay na tanan or nakamanla paper ka nadala na nimo nakasulat na kadaan paggabi nga i-discuss nimo pagkaugma and it should be in working condition kay basig nagdalhara pud kag laptop nga wi charger wa kay wa kay wala unsay imong method na lang na itudlo where uh, well maka sulat naman lang ta pero sayang ang preparation nato or gusto ka mag DLP pero guba ang atong DLP wala gyapon or nag manila paper lagi ka nang sulat-sulat ka pero while on travel na basa pag yun. So, nagwala, no? Uh, giliga po ni Fick Tips. Meaning, dapat it should be in working condition and it should be suitable to the subject matter. Suitable, kay example, kung nagtulog po ka uh, more on stages of butterfly, uh, kabalo ka, unsa nga, uh, unsa nga material yung mong ihatag. Kaya basi din nato, masagda sa PowerPoint ang butterfly ina sa pagdrawing pwede sa board pero mas may itong nanay mga stages or stages of uh, butterfly so nahibal ana na to or fig uh, itaw ana picture na lang pang ana to diya nga mao na ang yang stages okay the teaching method should be diversified pod flexible and suited to the needs of the clients okay kung sige kidan nga sa client dapat suit sa ila no kanang pasok gyud sa ila hagi kinanglan Okay, so mo nang mga elements ato learning situation. So again, what is the first element? Teachers. Okay, the teacher. Ikaduha? Learners. Learning. Ikatulo? Subject matter. Subject matter. Subject matter. Uh, or the last, content. The teaching, the teaching method. method. Okay, so mo nang atong mga elements of learning situation. And this is how people remember the things. People, so kita, ma, ma, madumduman na to ang mga butang through this. So kung atong basahon, magbasa lang ta. So atong learning, ana, that's 10% lang. Okay? Basa lang ta. Basa ra ba? Basa ra man ka. 10% lang. Pero kung atong madunggan ang mga information, 20%. 20% because nakadungog ka. Ah, Maunagyo na ito pasabot. 20%. Pero kung atong makita, na atong makita, so ang atong uh, uh, learning, 30%, taas-taas na kayo nakita man na ito. Ah, mo, di, nga na, di, pag, pagbuhat, di ba? So kayo nakita man na ito, 30%. Nakita lang, ha? So man na atong learning, 30% makuha na ito, anak. Pero kung atong nadunggan, na atong nakita, meaning murag, ah, okay, day, mo, day na, tapos nakita pag yun na ako ngayong anak, So, 50% na. 50% na yung learning anak. Pero kung ano siyang ginaingon, ang pagsulti, ang pagcommunicate ninyong duha, nga maoto ang paagi sa pagbuhat o worming composting or pag-analyze sa soil, ana, uh, soil analysis, 
70% imong learning ana. Okay. Kay giingon man niya sa imo ha. Ginasaba man niya sa imo ha. Pero kung iyang giingon ug iya pa nang gibuhat tapos nakita po nato that's 90% of the learning. Okay. So mas maayo gyud nga kung unsang atong ginaingon mao nang atong ginabuhat. Nga mas makalearn ta. Di ba? Because 90% of that atong uh, buhaton kay maumanto ang giingon. So mao nang people learn to do by doing. So mao nang nagina apply nga method sa inyo, ginatudlo sa inyo kung unsaon na siya. Okay? So mao na ang figure on how people remember the things. Okay, now, we will discuss the principles of extension. Okay, the principles of extension. Okay, the first principle, we have the principle of cultural deference. A principle of cultural deference. Use mga principle po is extension. So, not a principle of cultural difference. So, in this principle, the people differ in their culture with different cultural background, place of origin, the parents, and environment. So, classic-classic culture ang atong mga farmer. Classic-classic cultural background. Classic-classic tag lugar. Lailay tag ginikanan. Lailay tag environment. So, meaning, kung ikaw extension worker, Mato ka na nga barangay. Okay, Mato ka na nga barangay. Dapat, um, you must know and able to adjust the culture of the people. Okay, uh, extension worker, no? Kini, uh, by the way, kini nga mga principles, mga po ni mga nanggawa sa board exam last, kung, kung unsa daw dapat nga principle, ang gamiton, or unsa nga principle nga nagpakita sa ingani. Okay? So, unsa yung mong buhaton as an extension worker? So, manang maminaw ta. Okay? So, kasi-kasi magid culture. Kasi-kasi culture ang mga tao. So, as an extension worker, kung mak makaadto ka ang nga lugar, dapat kabalo ka. O yung muna nahibalan, kabalo ka mo adjust sa culture sa tao. Based, based on their cultural background. So, for example, nakaadto ka na, ikaw na mag-adjust. Kaya mo manang ilang uh, culture na uh, kana de ing lahang pagkaon nga di sila mo kaon nagkuan tapos kaon dai sila kada adla mura lang ikaw na mo adjust mo ri lang mga pagkaon so adjust na ayo pag inarte as an extension worker because naa ka ana nga lugar naa ka sa ilaha imo na silang tuyo imo na silang a kliyente beneficiary labi na ko makatulog ka sa ilaha adjust gid ka okay not Mga mga cultural barriers po sa mga cultural background nato. Of course, ethnicity. Kung lahi nga tribo atong naadtuan, kung sa ilang pamaagi, ay sunod yud ka. Di ba? Musunod yud ka. Dapat. Dili kay mag-inarte hala, di kumatulog dira. Wala. Dili yud ka effective na extension worker, extension agent, if that's your attitude. Okay? On the religion, may isa na nga barriers. Okay, of course, nga nahang kay kalitsun baboy, yung naadtuan is sa badista man, Ala mag, mag maghatag kag dilson baboy sa ilaha kay mao nang imuhang um ipak ay ipak kon na ipa kaon sa ilaha di banggit sila pwede mo kaon ana so adjust ka kung unsa gusto nila mo na lang gid na and on the membership of organization on the social status kay basig nato ani mo nga pobre ra kaayo tapos ikaw kwartahan ka kay nakatrabaho ka in artikay ka tapos ang balay pag inila guba Muhawa ka, muhawa ka. So, dili na mayo. So, adjust ka, makitulog ka sana nga balay, makitulog ka sa daghan lamok because that's their place. That's their status oh, sa ilang life. And to the level of education, maki-adjust ka. Dili kay graduate kag masteral, extension agent ka, graduate na kag masteral of extension or doctorate of extension. Tapos ikaw ang ipaad to dito sa ilang lugar. Tapos sila, of course, ilang knowledge gamay ra, ikaw hire na kay ka, mo na mag sobrang ka bright, nagpinulso po na kanila. 
Mga nasobraan ra ka ka kapayason, di ba? So dili man ingana. So dapat kabaluta mo adjust sa culture sa tao. So kung kana atong trabaho kabaluta, tanawa ang tao. So patas ta ayo pag pagtaas taas gyud no. Kay as an extension agent worker. That's our role, okay? Because the people differ in their culture. Okay, classic-classic culture. So, mga ginang, mo adjust kita. Okay? Kung isa po, makadumuan na ang mga barangay, if that's their status, yes, adjust the status. Kaya, tapos, di mga gini mo, hindi ko gusto nga magtulog sa balay, nga dakang lamok, gusto kami yung mga lamok dito, kaya sa lang kwarto. So, di nga na. So, adjust ka sa ila. Okay? Next principle, principle of cultural change. Yes, in atay cultural difference. And then we have that cultural change. The culture of people changes with extension if they could feel and see the outcomes and impact of the extension program. Okay. Mag ang uh, ilang culture po sa atong mga kliyente or beneficiary changes if they feel and if they see the outcomes and impact of the extension program. If na ay positive impact, na ay positive outcome, ang ilang culture mag-change, mag-hinahinay og change because they adapt, no, they adapted that technology, they adapted that system. So, lahat po ng cultural change. So, the extension concerns change as the culture of people changes. So, ang uh, imuha po concern sa extension, magkabago, kung magkabago po ang uh, culture sa tao, di ba? Kimo man ang imong conduct nga extension. So unsa imong buhaton ani? So yan nga principle. So as an extension worker kanang EW na to, extension worker na siya. Extension worker should adapt the extension projects and approaches to the cultural change of the people for effective extension work. Okay? mo adapt ka og mga extension project or activities to the cultural change of the people so mo introduce kag mga technology sa ila ha isa po like ilang culture di sila adto na marabag na baguhan sila ba pero hinahinay ni mo pasabot sa ila ha? through adoption the technology na bisag isa lang ka farmer cooperator mo adto ani mo ipa-adapt nimo ana nga technology so kung makita nila ang resulta kung tsada ang result sa technology nga imong gi-introduce of course they change no ang ilang culture mag-change ila tong i-adapt so dapat na kay effective nga extension project or successful extension project nga gi-conduct nga mas makita nila ang positive or the outcome of that extension project okay mo na ang principle of cultural change okay So the third principle we have the interest and needs. Okay, principle of interest and needs. So people are likely to support extension program based on their needs and interest. Yes. Again, ako ng ginabalik-balik sa inyo ah, conduct a og training, needs and assessment because the people mo support sa atong extension program based on their needs and interest. Dili sila mo suporta mag-conduct ng extension program or extension activities sa ilang lugar. Dili sila mo suporta sa imuha kay wala man lagi kinhanglan. Dili nila dili sila interesado ana nga extension program. So dapat um, interested na nila needs na nila nga extension program. So as an extension worker, EU, okay, EW, <coughs> imong buhaton, you gather the data or the information through survey, meetings, informal talk, observation, and visit in the homes. So mo nang pagkanda ka og training needs, mag-survey ka, magpakanda ka meetings sa mga organiz farmer organization, or imo silang istro-istoryaho ng mga informal talks lang, or mag-observe ka kung silang gikinanglan yun. Or pwede ka, mag-atugid ka sa ilang balay na para imugid silang ma-istorya. So, mo ng principle of interest and needs. Ikatulo na ito nga principle. Again, na natin cultural difference. 
Second, cultural change. Ikatulo, interest and needs. Ikaupat. Okay. Before that. Okay. Before that. Um, uh, ikaupat nga principle. Okay. Again, sa akong giniingon, magkandak makag-survey. So, ang role po ni mo, Ana, as an extension worker, you help the people understand themselves under situation. Tabangan ni mo sila na masabtan nila ang sitwasyon nila. Ana ka, ma'am and sir, maumang good ni. So, siguro nang inanglan mo ani nga technology, kay para ang atong production sa inyong tanong mo ani or wala na sakit sa baboy, ngayon atong yan, malikaya mal, nato ninyo mga sakit sa manok, sa pulti nato. So, pasabto ni mo na sila. You help them understand themselves sa ilang sitwasyon nila. Okay? Then, hataga ni mo sila or mag-guide ka sila ha to identify of their problems. You guide them in the identification of the problem. Mao magid ni kay base sa akong nakuan. So inga na gid siguro yung problema. So inga na inga na ninyo no pag muadto mo sa ila ha. And then you help them in exploring the possible solution. Ah uh, through this problem am answer mo gini atong possible solution siguro. So ato kaning itry no nga buhaton para masolusyonan ni nga problema. So mao na ang role nimo. So the extension worker give the priority to the felt needs of the people but gradually let them appreciate the importance of solving their unfelt needs so meaning yes you have uh, that rule so hatagan nimo sila priority nga masabtan nila ang problema nga na solution ni imo ang gikuan pero ginahinayon nato nga ma-appreciate nila ang uh, importance sa pag-solve sa ilang problema. So unsa man ato silang i-involve sa mga meetings, sa planning process nato before ta mo conduct og extension program. So bisag representative lang sa ilaha, eh ma'am or sir, apil ka sa mga meeting para sa pagplano. Unsa dai ka mas problema ninyo sa inyong community? Sing ana ang imong rule, no? Involve them in the planning process. Okay. So marang sa ikatulong uh, principle no? Principle of interest and needs. Okay? Next ikaw pa the principle of grassroots approach. Okay? This principle consider the differences in their educational attainment. Consider also the different culture of the people, economic and social status and the type of farming adopted. And this principle, it started where the people are and with what resources they have. So grassroots, general. So mo sa grassroots approach na ito. Kung asa ang tao, kung sa resources nga naasa ila ha, mo nang atong buhaton. So mas kinigit ang gina-practice na sa nga principle karon sa atong extension. No? Principle of grassroots approach. Ikalima, na tay principle of cooperation. Okay? The principle of cooperation, of course, the rural people and extension worker should cooperate with each other for the development of the community. So there is cooperation between the extension worker and the agent. So as an extension worker, ikaw nga extension worker, mag-identify ka o cooperator, no? the farmer cooperator, and you demonstrate kung unsa ka maayo ang a uh, new practice or new technology nga imong itudlo sa iya na mga innovation nimo so pili kag isa ka cooperator sa isa ka barangay itudlo didto ang maayong uh, technology nga imong nakita bagong technology nga imong nakita then uh, after ana kung mag-introduce ka of course mutabang pud ka mutabang kag pangita sa funds or seek assistance from the government agencies or the LGO or any government agency. So, mo na siya. Mo na imong rule. So, ang rule lang sa mga tao, mag-cooperate lang din sila sa proper implementation of the program to become successful. No, kay kung dili sila mag-cooperate, dili yung successful ang extension program na inyong gikandak sa um, sa kanang nga area. So, there is cooperation between the extension worker, the agency, 
and the people. Okay, dapat na na sila. That's the principle of cooperation. <laughs> Now, the principle of participation. Okay, the principle of participation, with, when you see participation, according to Goralnik, it means to have or to take a share with other in an activity. Okay? To participate with an activity. So, in extension, of course, the people learn by doing. No participation na to. So, it involved for effective learning in planning, implementation, and evaluation of projects for improvement of their lives involved in method demonstration and seeking assistance in coordinating meetings. So, ipaparticipate na to ang ato ang mga farmer, ang atong mga kliyente. Okay, maganda ang training if wala sila participation, of course, they do not learn. So, manang the people learn by doing. So, well, yeah, tudlo nato na sila ha, atong gibuhat, let them participate. Ipahans o nato sila. Kay para, ah, uh, nakit makita na to ang ilagid di ay buhat okay nakakatuong din sila kay nakita nila ang mga procedure sa pagbuhat nimo anak nga technology okay the next principle is the principle of the use of extension teaching okay so on the use of extension teaching the extension worker works with individuals groups of people and organization and requires different extension methods to be used to become effective. Okay, gamit og mga um, different extension method. No, kay klase-klase man taong saong ka nato pagtudlo sa farmer para mas effective ang atong uh, pagtudlo sa ilaha. Okay? So as an extension worker, imuhang rule or dapat naakay knowledge and skills in using the appropriate combination of methods for a specific situation. Okay, basic extension agent ka ba tapos nagdala pa ang mga DLP, mga computer, laptop, na pa yung sa panin, mga visual aid pa ni Modia. So kabalo ka, unsa nga mga combination of methods ang pwede na to gamiton para effective ang atong extension teaching. Or extension method to be used to become effective. Okay, mo na imong rule, ho? na kay knowledge and skills in the appropriate methods nga gamiton. Okay? The next principle, we have the principle of leadership. So the principle of leadership, we need the local leaders. Okay, the local leaders. So the local leaders trained and encouraged to help in extension work. Um, the local leaders, um, ang ilang matabang po na is to reach a great number of people in the barangay. Kay, kung naa, no, maka, maka kuha tawag local leaders, So, muna ito atong representative bitaw nga ma istorya nila ang yang mga silingan nga mo-appeal sa mga trainings and seminars. And that local leaders dapat familiar with the characteristic and idiosyncrasies. So, kabalo siya. Kay, kabalo siya sa mga kiniiya sa yang mga silingan. No, kay namin mga hypersensitive individuals. And ang mga tao, mga silingan niya, they are more often in dealing their problems and needs to the local leaders. So at least ang local leaders na i-rule din niya. So na i-rule ni local leaders sa kana nga barangay. So now mo nang gitawag na to nga principle of leadership. And that leader will inform the extension worker kung unsa gikinanglan nila. Okay, mo na na dapat ang leader active pod gayo. Okay? Next principle of voluntary education. Again, extension is a type of a non-formal education. So, nga nung ang extension na yung principle ng voluntary education. Okay. Gitawag na ito voluntary because sa pag-conduct na itong training or seminar, dili ito mamugos sa tao. If di sila ma-appeal, ayaw na pugsa. Okay? Because di na nila need na training. Okay, di nila need. So, meaning, the voluntary and free willing participation on the part of the clientele is important. May na, kagustuhan yung dapat nila nga ma-appeal sa training, mo-appeal sa technology ng atong i-introduce sa ilaha. Okay? So, dili na ito po gusto nga. Appeal ta ba? Okay, natinganin nga na. Kung dili sila, dili yun na. Okay, because extension na ay principle of voluntary education. 
Next principle is satisfaction. Principle of satisfaction. People do not feel happy and satisfied only with monetary or material rewards when they accomplish something towards development. Okay. Hindi sila happy and they are satisfied only with the monetary or material rewards. Kung sa lagi kinahangala nila, ang kinahangala nila is the word of praises, the recognition and appreciation that is encouraged the voluntary participation and voluntary leadership in the extension program. So ato silang pasalamatan, ato sa taga-agrecognition, ato silang i-encourage na mauna siya. Kaya mo lang kinahanglan. I-appreciate nato sila. And for that, they, satis they, are, uh, they have that satisfaction on your extension program na i-introduce sa ilaha. So, na na naada yun diya ang mga voluntary participation sa mga kliyente na to and voluntary leadership. So, na sila initiative na totally nga ato pang pugson, ato pang suguon, or ato pang pamalihugan. So, sila na mismo ang muan na ikaw ng pangitaon or unsa na po nga training and i-offer ni nyo sir. Nginaon ka, di ba? Kaya gusto sila makatoon. Kaya muan na kayo nasatisfy sila sa inyuhang gibuhat. That's principle of satisfaction. And we have the next principle, the principle of trained specialist. So, specialist in agriculture Okay, specialists in agriculture share the research findings to the farmers through extension worker. Okay. So, manang ginaingon ako nga, ang inyong research sa mga eskwila ninyo, inyong thesis, dapat i-share na to na ang results sa mga farmer. Especially inyong research. That's for the farmer. So, sa kayo maayod ay nga, na-experiment ba yan mo, no? Ano ba? Nag-RCBD, si RD pa mo diya. Kung sa kayo maayo nga, Uh, fertilizer ang i-apply para nga nga na. Okay? So, kabalo na si farmer da yun because na-prove man po ninyo sa inyong research, sa inyong thesis. So, kini nga principle, kung na yung mga proven uh, research, iyan yung i-introduce sa mga farmer. So, iba nang itudlo na ni niya. So, na train specialist na siya, itudlo na niya. Okay? Okay? Uh, as an extension worker, for example, pun ana, kwa kag resource speaker, trained specialist siya. But if the trained specialist is not available, so ikaw mismo ang extension worker, naapod kay knowledge. So nangutala na kay in advance nga, ah, mo rin resulta sa imong research, sir. Dari sa inyong eskwilahan. So yung say resulta ni sir, uh, nga nung ina So nangutala na po daan ka, naan na kay knowledge. Because in that, um, uh, kung dili available ang atong train specialist to conduct, no, to train your cli clientele, ikaw mismo, no, ikaw na mismo ang extension agent, ang mo share sa information. Pero nananghid, nananghid naman po ka sa iskwilaan nga ingana ang imuang iingon nga natunan or result sa research. Kay, of course, especially na kay knowledge no na kay knowledge with ana na kay own knowledge in dealing with other people okay man ang principle of trained specialist and we have principle of whole family approach so extension is consider that all the members of the family in introducing development projects so sa extension kining principle ng whole family approach sa extension, di lang ang papa ang magbuot na i-adapt na ko ng technology, there is also a participation of the whole family. Even the children, mga bata, bisag ka mga bata, okay mo na ako practice mga anak, okay nga na siya. Dapat na ay um, tawag anak, participation sila, namusugot sila. So every family member is important in making decision in terms of technology adoption. Kay ko na introduce na extension worker ang technology nga vermicomposting. Pero kamo mismo ang uban ni mong pamilya dili mo sugod kung mag vermicomposting mo. Of course, mo consider ka sa ila. 
But if the whole family mo sugot na i-verbi composting, mag-yes sila tanan, yes, i-adapt ni mo itong technology. Because important kaya magtrabaho mong gurgi hapon, anak, ang pamilya, whole family. So their discussion may take into consideration the rule or function of each member and the consequence of technology. And this may bring to family farm courses. So kaya ito na bitaw makita na yung mga successful no, sa ATI, yung mga successful stories because there is a participation of the whole family approach. So ato na bitaw ma mailan karon labi na sa bukid noon o sa kinsapana, bisag bat bata nila, 8 years old, 7 years old, mahim mo na itong speaker, mahim mo na itong guest speaker, resource person, sila na mismo ang nagtudlo sa ato ah. Because in the family, ginatudloan bisag bata pa, nga mauna siya. So sa Bukino, dagang kaya na kinsa itong uh, farm, uh, learning sites, no, bata, ang tag, bata na hinunang ga, ga tudlo sa ato ah, diri sa bata tag training. So yan na, because there is participation of the whole family. No, kabalot na ang family sa pag-apply po sa farm. Manong na farm family courses. Magkandak na mag-training, na na mag-learning sites. Because participation sa tibuok pamilya. That's very important. Okay? So manang principle of whole family approach. Okay. So as total na tayo 13 or pila to ka principle of whole uh, principle of extension. So again, what is the first principle of extension? Sa inyo ang basi nakapamila mo? Principle of cultural Cultural difference. Yes, principle of cultural difference. difference. Principle. Principle of cultural change. Principle of cultural change. Third. Principle of interest and needs. Yes, we have interest and needs. Next, ikaw pat. Grassroots approach. Grassroots approach. Ikalima. Principle of cooperation. Cooperation. Next, ikaw nung. Principle of participation. Ikapito. Principle of the use of extension. Use of extension method. Next. Principles of leadership. Leadership. The next. Principle of voluntary education. Voluntary education. Then. Principle of satisfaction. Satisfaction and. Principle of trained specialists. Trained specialists and. Principle of whole family approach. So mo na ang mga principle sa atong extension. So sa inyong college na na discuss ba ni sa inyong college kini ng mga principle sa extension subject niyo? No kay basin ala narin ang mga principle sir. No kay basin discuss ni sa mga sir. Ano? Ang uban pero ng kung atuluan ay wala wala may kagiyan sir. No basin absent lang po siguro sila. And that's good to the PBCC no kay na discuss gid ning mga principle. Okay, how about, about sa is an issue? Na discuss ba ni <coughs> mga principle? Not at least na ana moy na refresh na inyong mind, no? Kini nga mga principles atong extension. No, that's a very good uh, start. Okay? So now the objective we will uh, discuss the objectives of extension. Now, when we say objective, these are statements of what we intend to do. It is also a statement of predetermined end products. So these are expected outcomes of a certain specific activity. So objective, unse atong tumong, unse atong tumong nga mabuhat. So manang objective of extension. So therefore, objective serve as guides or direction in doing extension work, okay? A uh, direction or guia kung unsay atong buhaton sa atong extension program. So the fundamental objective of extension is dissemination of useful and practical information relating to agriculture. Ikaduha, practical application of useful knowledge to farm and home. Ikatulo, improvement in all aspects of the life of rural people within the framework of the national economic and social policies involving the population as a whole. 
Okay, mo ng fundamental objective niya. Again ha, disseminate information, practical application, and uh, improvement the aspects of life of the people. Na kung saan yung general objective. The general objective of extension is to assist the people to discover and analyze their problems and identify their needs. Okay, i-assist nga ma... ma kita nila or ma-analyze nila kung sa'yo problema and kung sa'yo nila pag-identify ano nga problema. Ikaduha nga objective is to develop the leadership among people and help them in organizing the groups to solve their problems. O ikatulong nga general objective is to disseminate the research information of economic and practical importance in a way people would be able to to understand and use. Okay? Mo ng general objective sa atong extension. Now, the purpose of extension, we have the four purpose of extension. We have emancipatory, informative, um, formative, and persuasive. Okay? Now, emancipatory extension, it is an instrument to uplift the poor, achieve the social goals, and correct structural problems. And Paulo Freire calls this emancipatory as pedagogy of the oppressed. Okay, mo emancipatory extension. Ang informative extension, it helps people make well-considered choices among alternatives that is provided by the extension for the individuals to achieve his or her goals. Kimo ng informative extension. Well, the formative extension, it is an instrument for developing, forming an individual, or enhancing his or her capabilities to make decision, to learn, manage, organize, and plan. Kimo ng formative. While the persuasive extension, it is a policy instrument to induce the preventive behavior with respect to societal concern, okay, na nga itong mga environmental pollution, health hazard, the vandalism, and drug addiction. Okay, mo nang itong mga purpose of extension. Again, emancipatory, informative, formative, and persuasive. Okay. So, mga ito ang uh, next topic, uh, katong topic na ito, education concept, extension concept, philosophy, objective, and principle of extension. So the next topic is communication and extension. But before that, let's have the 15 minutes break. So by 3 o'clock, magsugo na rin ta sa atong communication and extension. So pwede sa mo mag-kondiha. Break lang sa CR break or sa panandiha. And let's be back ta 3 o'clock. Okay? to start the discussion on the communication and extension. So, Salamat, sir. Slack break sa ta. Sa panandian niyo.
Okay, um, good afternoon everyone. Balik na ta. Napa ba ang uban? Napa ba mo? Naka-standby diya? Okay, thank you. So, no, thank you kayo sa itong... Uh, Yes, sir. Napa. Response. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now, uh, actually, this topic extension is taas-taas pag yun ni. And, of course, in Sidugay po ito nakasugod and actually, to this mga yun po doon taan eh. But, itry na ito nga mahuman yun uh, for today's. So, ay kabala ka kaya matagaan mo mong kapian ni. So, just message lang po sa ako. Ah. Pwede lang ko nyo i-chat. Kay kabala naman sa akong Facebook, mga na ito sa akong introduction pa ganina. Pwede ako ninyo i-chat and um, para matang na po mo og uh, ato ang slides, no? ato ang review ani sa communication, uh, sa extension. Na napulunta ako yung diagnostic ani, kung nakanagid ko sa inyo, hanap ay exam na to, then i-ration na po na to. Pero ako lang nihatag sa inyo ha. No, para mansiran po ninyo. So maghatag ya po ko og Kuhanigid sa inyo. So, i-message lang gid ko sa akong mga social media account or uh, sa akong email. Pwede lang gid kayo. So, nakita naman to ninyo kaganina akong mga accounts. So, visit lang sa akong account. Okay? So, now let's proceed to the communication in extension. Okay? Because in extension, the very important part, of course, is communication. Because if we like communication between the client and between the extension worker, dili effective no ang atong communication. Meaning, dili effective ang atong extension if there is no communication. Okay, and what is communication? Kaya unsa ka ang communication? What is the definition of communication? Okay, the origin of this. It came from the Latin word communis, which means to make common or to establish the commonness between two or more people. Okay? Communis means to make common. Or from the word communico means to share. Okay? That is communication. Okay? Make common. Common. Commonness between the two people. Of course, kung kita or ako, kamo, dapat natay common understanding no between the two. Okay so so kay ulan kasi hindi ko yung madunggan wait lang no kay ato sa ni i-close ni mga bintana para di kay madunggan yung mga ulan. Okay, so mo nang atong um, communication na no? from the Latin word communis to make common or um, communico, communico which means to share. Okay, now the communication, okay, the definition of communication, it is a process by which the two people exchange ideas, the facts, the feelings or impression so that each one of them gains a common understanding of the meaning and the intents of the message. Okay, mo nang atong communication. Nadungkan pa ba ko? Wait na. Yes, sir. Kaya, dungan pa. Okay, sige lang, no. Kay, nagin na yung mga yes, sir. Kulang gin na to, no. Mas mawala ang atong mga mga internet connection o kung mga burn out. Sige lang, ay gabala ka para hindi hapon ka sa atong discussion. Okay. Okay, communication, again, two people exchange the ideas, feeling, or impression. So meaning between the two, of course, there is communication. Sa ato, that's communication. A process by which an idea is transferred from the source to a receiver with the purpose of changing his behavior. So communication is composed of the source, the source, or the 
receiver. So in extension, the source is our extension worker. No? Kamo nga mga extension agent. Then, ang atong receiver mo, ang atong mga kliyente, atong mga farmers, or kamo mga farmers. Okay? So mo na, the communication between the extension agent and the farmers. Okay? Dapat matransfer na extension agent, mapatarong og pasabot sa atong receiver. So mo na ang communication. So important din ang communication in extension. So communication as interaction because uh, we'll know that kung na ay uh, kung magkomunikita na gid ni mga interaction, di ba? Mag-interact ta kay need bang gid na kay mura mura mag walay mahitabo nga communication if there is no interaction. Mo no mangot ana ko kung di mo mutubag so walay communication nga hitabo sa ato kay wa may wa may answer nga akong na receive. Okay. So communication as interaction. So interaction is the process of reciprocal role taking. It is the mutual performance of empathic behaviors. Okay, there is the reciprocal role. Okay, there is interaction between the two, between the source and between the receiver. Okay, na may mga mutual understanding for that. Na makatubag ka o sa yung giingon, o sa ipasabot niya na. Okay, that's interaction. Na the empathy. It is the ability to project ourselves into other people's personality. Okay, manang empathy. I-project na ito itong kaugalingon sa ubang tao, sa ubang personalidad, sa ubang tao. Okay? That's empathy. So the concept of communication, it can be conceptualized in the terms of the SMCR model. Okay, sa SMCR model. Ano sa mga meaning sa S na ito? Source. 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 RM. Message. The message. RC. Channel. 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 RR is the? Receiver. Response. Yes. So mauna ang communication na to, it is the process by which a source, or okay, the source, so mas many madrawing ito sa board, no? The source um, send the message to the receiver by means of a channel to produce the response. Okay? SMR through C to produce R. Diba? Ingan na siya. It's a process by which a source send a message to a receiver by means of a channel to produce a response in accordance with the intention of the purpose. Nakagipadala ng mensahe sa receiver nakagipadala sa iyaha sa uh, sa, sa imuhang uh, farmer nakagipadala nga message to the farmer by means of channel o sa ni atong mga channel base sa atong language nga gigamit base sa atong mga materials nga gigamit so man atong channel <coughs> or mga tao nga involved pod nga gigamit nato to to, um, to deliver <coughs> the message okay <clears throat> so the basic communication process and extension. So when an extension worker, ikaw, mag-communicate ka or makikistorya sa imong clientele, ikaw, mat mahimatawag ka nga, kung saman ka? Ikaw nga extension worker, makipag-communicate sa uh, cliente ni mo. So matawag ka nga? Sender. Sender, yes. Thank you for the response. Sender. Ang imong ginaingon nga mensahe, it is the message and ang imong paagi sa pag-istorya, the spoken word, is the channel and ang imong ginaistorya is the receiver. Okay. The reaction of the clientele to what the extension worker say is gitawag nato ang feedback or response. Pag nakaisto na ko istorya sa inyo ha, nitubag mo, so that's your feedback or response. But narako minsay sa inyo ha, kailangan lang yung mamina mo so di aragid taman sa receiver. So kamo ang receiver. So in the transfer of information, it is necessary that there should be some level of past experience and some level of shared meanings 
between the sender and the receiver. I dapat na po past experiences na mga experiences ang between the receiver and the sender. Okay nga, maka-relate sa inyong istorya. Yan ang atong basic communication process. Now, there are attributes of a communication as a process. Communication is matawag na ito nga dynamic. Communication is dynamic. It is an ever-changing character. It fluctuates constantly. It is never fixed. And it has no clear beginning and ending. So dynamic ang atong communication because na ay ever-changing character ani. Dili ni siya fix, meaning walay sinugdanan o walay katapusan. Na because sige na istorya, naayod na naging ang communication. Matawag na ito nga dynamic. No clear beginnings and ending. Another attribute, communication is systemic. So it should be recognized as a system that consists of a group of elements which interacts each other and the system as a whole. Okay? It should be recognized. So manang matawag na ito nga, ang communication is systemic. Kaya dapat gine-recognize na ito sa system that consists of a group of elements. So na ang atong ascender and the receiver. So manang systemic. Okay? And communication is the interaction through symbol. Now, the third attribute. Communication is an interaction through symbol. So symbol should arouse in oneself what it arouses in another. So ang language or symbol na atong gipili o giunsa na ito paggamit, that is how others interpret our messages. Di ba? Yung sa, yung sa na ito, pag deliver yun sa message, muna ang pag-interpret sa receiver. So this, there are interaction through symbols. So through the use of the language, itong mga, mga language na ito, or through the use of the symbol. Okay, makita na ito nga. Okay, mauna din yung pasabot. Because this is an interaction through symbol. And the communication, the meaning of communication is personally constructed. Okay. Personally constructed nga naman. No, two people construct the same meaning even if they hear or see the same thing. So walay duha ka tao nga pareha o interpretation sa ilang nakita o sa ilang nalunggan. So lay-lay itag interpretation na nan. Even if nata sa isang kaklase, okay, lay-lay itong pag-interpret sa mensahe. Bisag pareha ratag nakita, pareha ratag nga word, Pariharatang nadunggan, pero lailay ang atong pag-interpret sa Osaka uh, panghitabo, di ba? Sa Osaka butang, sa Osaka katapik na to. So, dili yun. Because the meaning is personally constructed. Ikaw ang nagbuhat sa meaning about anang word. So, interpretation is bounded by our experiences. No bounded. Kaya maka-interpret ta based on our experiences. Di ba? Based on our thoughts, based on our feelings, needs, expectation, self-concept, or knowledge. So nagbasi na kung saan na ito pag-interpret ang usakang insay. Pero kita na mismo, no? kita mismo ang nag-construct nag sa meaning ala ng message. So diligid pa rin ito. Example, pareha mong nakita nga na yung diskresya. Pero ikaw... Pahi sa imong nakita, kato siyang nakasala ang motor, pero ang imong kauban, pahi sa iyang nakita, ang nakasala, ang van. So, rila yung mga og, meaning, rila yung mga panglantaw, rila yung mga og, description sa inyong nakita. Because each of us is unique. So, we interpret in unique ways. Klasi-klasi tag-interpretation sa minsahe. Okay. Mga na may konta, meaning is personally constructed. Okay. So now when we see field of experience, it is the sum total of an individual's experiences which influences his or her ability to communicate. So communication can take place between people only to the extent that they share a common field of experience or similar experience. So that's the field of experience. No, kung pareha mong experience na, so we have that uh, 
um, effective communication no nga maka ingon ta og mak maka share ta og something para sa ila no makatubag ta so feel the experience is the sum total of an individual experiences which influence his or her ability to communicate so atong isa-isahon ang mga basic elements sa communication the first element gitawag nato nga ang say first element nato source okay, the letter s source the source as an extension worker di ba ang source nato extension worker man di ba so ang extension worker as a source dapat uh, he should have credibility okay credibility as this determine the acceptance or rejection of the idea by the person or group with whom he communicates so dapat as a source no kung kamo ang source so kita tanan pwede ta source pwede ta receiver so kung kita ang source dapat credible ta no credible ang atong um, gihatag nga minsa uh, credible ta nga maghatag ta og mensahe okay kay kana ang pagka credible nato it determine the acceptance or rejection of the idea Eh, depende man na sa imong pag, paghatag o discussion, ana, no? Kung i-accept ba niya o reject niya based sa imo ang credibility as a source. Okay. So, natin characteristic of the source. Okay, natin characteristic of the source. The first characteristic sa source, gitawag na ito nga homophily. Okay. Homophily refers to the degree to which a receiver perceive the source as similar to him or her in certain attributes such as age, sex, language, values, and others. No? Ang homophily, the receiver perceive the source as similar to him. So, kay pareha naman tag edad, pareha na tag uh, gender, pareha tag language. So, magkasinab na ito, that's homophily. No characteristics sa source. Okay, homophily. The second one, credibility. So, dapat credible. As a source, credible ka. When we see credibility, it refers to a receiver's perception of the believability of the source. Okay. So, parahin ta. So, it refers to a receiver's perception of the believability of the source in a particular situation. No, credible ka ang pag ang pagsabot ni receiver sa imuhang um, ideas or minsay, masabta niya and then nasaya kung iyang i-accept or iyang i-reject imuhang ideas. So it is high or low according to the degree to which a source is considered by the receiver as believable. So kanang matuuhan ka. No? Matuuhan ka as a source. Okay, basig di ka matuuhan, mahimura ka, marites yapon. So, dapat credible ka on your uh, messages no nga gihatag okay duha no duha na to ka characteristic sa source but uh, the homophily and the credibility under the credibility we have the four dimension okay the four dimension of credibility the first dimension is the character so credibility character so when a source ikaw as a source you perceive as honest, trustworthy, friendly, reliable, peasant, warm, and other. On your credibility, that is based on the character dimension. That is your character as a source. No? Credible ka kung, of course, honest ka, trust matuhan ka, friendly ka, reliable, naman ang reliable source na to, peasant or warm or tanan, no mo, yan na, based on the character. So ingat na dapat as a source. Ikay na baka kun ka di gyud na wala gyud na no di ka credible ana. No lahi ang imong gipang ingon nga mensahe, lahi, lahi imong giklase, lahi ang imong gikuan so di na maayo. Okay? So that's based on the character, ang imong credibility. Or mag-base pud na sa ikaduha nato nga dimension based on your competence. When you are perceived as well trained, so dapat as a source, well trained ta, no to conduct an extension activity 
uh, to be an uh, uh, guest speaker or competent, intelligent, or not experienced, uh, if we tita and bright. So, muna, that is based on the competence of competence dimension. No, dapat, aside from honest, trustworthy, dapat competent ka, bright ka, naka-experience ka, o well-trained ka. Okay, mo na ikaduha nga, dimension. Character, competence, ikatulo na to, composure. Okay, the composure, when you perceive as um, in terms of self-confidence. So, dapat na kay self-confidence to discuss dili kay nag discuss or nakata kag mensahe sa imong learner or sa imong uh, mga farmer nga wala kay self confidence to share that information kay basi ina lang ka mga baka kon mo gid siguro niya kay mga pagkataka mo og istorya no gangad hangad ra man sa baka ang gi gi istorya niya ani di man itinuod iyang istorya so yana so dapat sakto pod na imong uh, pagtindig diya sa atubangan sa mga farmer Akay uh, good voice, dignity, level headedness that is uh, on your credibility that is based on the composure development. So share something na di ka maulaw, di ka mangurog say, sa atubangan. Okay, kung yan nagaling kami ni ah, tuuhan ba na ko or dili? So na na kayo mga uh, doubt, Anna. Okay? Next dimension of credibility is dynamism. When you rate a source in terms of being bold, aggressive, and extrovert. So, kinipod si receiver na great sa source in terms of being bold or aggressive ba ang source or extrovert. Okay? That is dynamism. So, muna ang dimension of credibility. The 3C and 1D. Okay? The character, the competence, the composure, and the dynamism. The dimension of credibility. So, moto ang first element na to. So, again, ang first element as a review na tay source. So, as a source, tay doha ka karakteristik, homophily, and credibility. And under that karakteristik sa credibility na tay upat kay dimension sa credibility, we have that character, a competence, composure, and the dynamism. Okay, that's on the source. Now, the second element on sa man. Second element of communication. Ano naman tayo source? Masa ikaw doon ang element? Message. Yes, the message. Okay, the message. Message. The purpose or the specific outcome desired from the message whether it be changed in behavior, knowledge, skills, and attitude on the part of the learner. So, ang minsahe. So, dapat ang minsahe nga atong ihatag sakto ang tumong nga atong mensahe nga gihatag na ay purpose no kay kanang mensahe nga atong gihatag mao na ang paagi nga makatuon ang mga farmer nato ma-change ilang behavior ma-change ma ilang knowledge ilang skills ilang attitude no ing ana so ang mensahe nato dapat sakto atong gihatag so sa atong mensahe na atay tulo ka factor sa mensahe Kita mo nga ito message factors. First one is the code. Ang code, it is the symbol used in communicating. So both sender and receiver should understand in order to communicate. Okay? Na yung mga symbol ang atong mga mensahe. So dapat as a source, ikaw extension worker and the receiver, the farmer, dapat nagkasinabot. No? para para nagkasinabot para magkasinabot pagyot okay atong message code then the message content of course ang unod sa imong mensahe nga ihatag it is the idea or substance selected to express the purpose of the source for communicating for communicating the uh, between the two diba that's the content unsang idea unsay content na gusto ni mong ipabot. So, na na kay, uh, na na ka, kung ano yung minsay yung ipabot sa iya. Diba, ang content, tapat na yung unod ang yung minsay yung ingon sa iya. Then, ang treatment, the message treatment, it is the manner by which the materials are arranged 
in order to be meaningful to the receiver. So, Mrs. Treatment, arrange logically ang imuhang mensahe nga gihatag. Dili kay pa. Di mo na imong tuyo. Then, ni ana po ka sa pikas. Ni ana po ka dahil sa pikas nga tuyo ni mo. So, wala na siya. So, muna atong treatment nga dapat arrange in order to be meaningful to the receiver. Okay? So, muna ang tulok ka factor sa message, the code, content, treatment. So, sa message, we have the categories of the non-verbal communication. Okay, message man eh. The categories of non-verbal communication. We have the physical. Uh, the physical, it is the personal type of communication. No, mga non-verbal meaning no words between the two. So, pero natay physical. Mga yung personal type of communication. Ang kanang physical na communication that include the facial expression. So, kung something munad ka, mo uh, kidat ka niya, or mo smile ka, so na communication between the two. Di ba? From the facial expression, from the tone of the voice, from the sen sense of touch, so meaning pag-touch ni mo sa iya, there is communication that, yes, nangamusta ka niya, or sa iya mong toyo sa iya, or the sense of smell and the body motions. So, that's the non-verbal communication. Walang mga physical type of communication. Now, napunta yung static. Static, it is the type of communication that takes place through creative expression. So, kanyang aesthetic na to, through playing instrumental music, dancing, painting, and sculpturing. Okay, muna ang ato ang um, aesthetic type of communication. Magsayaw ta, play tag, instrumental music. So, nakipag-communicate ana. We interpret the message of the song, message of the dance, or music nga ito na dunggan. Or painting nga ito nakita. Na, Marag na, na, na yung minsahe ba? So nakita na yun na to. Then, we have the science. The science is the mechanical type of communication. Mechanical because it includes the use of signal flags. Na yung mga sign, na yung flag ng ana, or the 21 gun salute, or ka ng mga honey sa horn and sirens. So, may bala na to pag tingong na ganit ang bumbero. So, nakipag-communicate na siya nga na isunog. Tingo kang ambulance, okay, or responder, okay, na yung mga gris class siya, or 21 gun salute to salute that na lubong ana, di ba, na yung mga ana, or sa president, sa malakan niyang, and na yung mga signal flags. Okay, through signs. Okay, mo nang uh, non-verbal communication ka nang atong mga kuan po, mga traffic lights. So, part na siya sa signs. Okay? Then, ang symbolic, it is the type of communication that makes use of religious status or ego building symbol. So, true symbols. Example, makita tag simbahan nga na yung mga moon, half moon. So, kabo na tanga, Muslim na kasimbahan. So, nakipag-communicate na na nga na na communication between that symbol. O nag-represent na siya nga pang Muslim na siya. Okay, na yung simbahan nga tsadak kayo, that's for INC. May nga na, no nga, okay. Muna, nakita na ito nga, iyang meaning. Diretso. Okay? So, muna ang mga kategori sa non-verbal communication. So, the first one, we have the physical. Second one, aesthetic. Third one, the science. And the last is the symbolic. So, the categories of the non-verbal communication. Okay. The message, meaning, and understanding. Diba ang minsahe? Of course, klase-klase man ang meaning o pagsabot. So, ka, ang ako lang ma, ang ato lang maingon that the meanings are in people. So, dipindi sa imuha. Pag-interpret sa minsahe because ang paghatag sa meaning sa usaka minsahe na ara na sa imuha. The meanings are never fixed. Hindi siya fix ang meaning ni Moana. Because as experience changes, the meaning change. Kung mas mutas na imong experience or mas mutas na imong edad, magkabago na po ng imuhang meaning about ana ang mga butang, ng mga panghitabo, di ba? Kaya sa bata pa ta, yan naman itong mga teens, laya ang atong interpretation or laya atong meaning ana ang butang. 
Pero pag, pag naano to sa mga 30s or 20s, kapin, 30s, 40s, lahin na po na itong meaning sa kanto nga butang. Di ba? Because as experience changes, the meaning changes. Okay? Okay, no two people can have exactly the same meanings to the extent that they have the same experience. So, bisag pareha mong experience, pareha mong nakita, pareha mong nadunggan, wala, dili igyapon mo pareha og meaning sa usa ka panghitabo o sa usa ka butang. Okay? Dili gita pareha og meaning tanan, na ilahit ta og meaning for that particular uh, mga mapanghitabo, di ba, sa atong kinabuhi. So nata kita wag nga denotative or referential meaning. So this denotative is the relationship between a word sign and an object or a sign object relationship. And the connotative is associated with personal experience. But uh, before that na nadunggan ba ko ninyo? Paki-comment ko kung nadunggan ko apil sa Facebook live. Kay ko sige yes. dunggan sir na dunggan Comment lang kay di kay ko kadungog na pakichat na lang kay mura grabe gyud ko sog sa ulan So ni morning communication nato dili gyud mag kita magkasinabot because of this barrier no ang atong ulan Okay Na dunggan ba ko Okay klaro di ay salamat Thank you, Sir Mike. Okay, so muna akong ginaingon na uh, ang pagsabot sa minsahe na ito, lahi-lahi. Ang denotative, based sa itong nakita ng object. Ang connotative, it is based on the personal experience. Okay? Muna ang message, meaning, and understanding. Okay. Okay, the third element, usang third element natin, we have the channel. Yes, we have the channel. The channel, these are the various methods available to any communicator to reach his audience with the message. Unsa ang method na imong gamiton para mapaabot nimo ang mensahe. Okay, unsa nga method imong gamiton para mapaabot ni mga minsay. So, kini atong channel, it is classified as visual. So, pwede ka ng visual, mga visual aid, isa na ka-channel. Or, it can be spoken. Ang atong language na gamit, it is a channel. Or, it can be written. Okay, ginasulat na ito, channel, gaya po na siya. Or, the combination of the visual, spoken, or written. So, muna atong channel. So the techniques in using these methods determine the success or failure of the communication process. Okay. If klaro ang atong visual, if klaro atong pagstorya, masamtan, if klaro atong gisulat, yes, there is a success of the communication process. But if dili klaro, wala na samtan ang language kay nag nagtsabakano ka, nagbisaya kung nako, sibuano ko, di na ako masamtan there is a failure of the communication process. So, muna siya ang atong channel. As to the channel, so, ako ang kusko na ako tingong di rin na kay Grabe ka kusugin ang ulan. So, as to the channel, we have the dimension of the channels. Atong mode of encoding or decoding so that the message can be seen, heard, touched, or felt, smelled, and tasted. So it is in the form of interpersonal, mediated channel, mass media channel, and the folk media channels. Iba lang mga dimensions sa atong at channel. So sa atong interpersonal channel, natay duha, magitawag natin ang gatekeeper and the opinion leader. So kining gatekeeper, siya ang nag-control sa flow of information. So nag-control kung sa minsahe, bitaw siya ang tig-control sa minsahe. Pwede daw niya ipaabot ang mensahe sa receiver or pwede niya ipaabot ang mensahe pero iyang dugangan o sulti 
or iyang kuha ng sulti. Mo nang makaimunta nga marites ang mga gatekeeper. So kung niya wala on, pwede niya baguhon ang imuang minsay. Mga marites, mga chismosa or mga libakira na dayon na siya. So mo nang mga interpersonal channel na to, the gatekeeper. Pwede, pwede mo kulang sa atong minsahe, pwede mo sobra, pwede lahi on. So mga marites, mga mga libakira o mga tigda, tigdaot na dahil sa mga minsahe. So mo na siya ang gatekeeper. Ang opinion leader, it is a person who is approached by others on the advice of a certain matters. So kana mga opinion leader sa communication, pwede na ito siya agduan para magpatambag ta. Hinahalang tag advice siya. So, nanginahalang tag advice siya because um, he is credible. No? Credible, influential, or authoritative, authoritative in the community. So, nang maunang mga opinion leader. So, kita, asa man ta nila mabuta? Gatekeeper or opinion leader? So, kamunay bala no, kung asa mo ana na interpersonal channel. Okay? Now, the fourth element ang atong receiver. The receiver, of course, the audience in extension education is composed of the farmers, uh, the homemakers, and the youth, mga kabatan unan. So as the receiver of the message whose behavior of the extension worker expect to change, it may differ in the intelligence sa kanang kabright na to or sa atong pagtuo or sa atong experiences. So kanang atong pagkalailahi sa atong individual nga kalahian sa tao, pwede na ang magresulta sa lailahi ng interpretation sa minsahe nga gipaabot, di ba? Example, nagpaabot ko minsahe ng nga sa imuha. Pero ikaw, tungod guys, bright rapod kayo ang receiver na ako, kamo nga receiver, lahi na imong pag-interpret sa akong minsahe. Or something, tingkanin na akong sinultihan, muna kong nasuko, muna kong nagsinta. Pero lahi, lahi ang uh, as a receiver, lahi imong pag-interpret. So meaning, tungod kay sensitive ra kayo kang receiver, naghilak na ka, kaya abin mo gikasabaan ka. But, di na mao because ilhon gid nato atong source mao gid nato atong role ilhon nato atong source ilhon nato atong receiver kung unsa gid na ang karakteristik nila okay so kay dili bitaw na nagsingka na suko kay ingan na gid sultihan na pud na suko na pero hinay kay ang sulti so mao lay lay jud di ba need nato mahibal-an ang atong mga individual differences okay so as a receiver So ang karakteristik sa receiver na atay psychological orientation. Okay, this psychological orientation is the psychological factors that are salient to a receiver's persuasibility. So natay gitawag nga selective exposure, selective perception, selective remembering and selective acceptance. Okay, man ang psychological orientation. Okay, the next element ang atong are response or feedback. The feedback, it is the information that is sent or fed back by the receiver intentionally or unintentionally to the source. Okay? Manang feedback. Kanang tubag, di ba? Information that is sent or feedback by the receiver. Or sa imong tubag sa iya, manang feedback. So the feedback is an important element of effective communication which makes it as a two-way process of communication. So matawag na ito ang communication as a two-way process if our um, receiver sending feedback or answering your message. But kung ang source, example, example sa itong two-way process, okay, ang farmer nag-share of information to the another farmer. And the farmer nagkatag siya feedback. So mo na ang two-way communication. But ang one-way, if only the extension worker discuss walay interaction sa iyang mga students, mo na ang gitawag nga one-way. Taman ra siya sa receiver. There is no feedback nga yung ipangayo. That's one-way communication. So it serves as a corrective function by preventing the communication breakdown. 
So there are types of responses. So natay kasing uh, kasi kasi nga types sa pagtubag. So the first one is the cognitive effect. Cognitive that is based on the knowledge, awareness, thought and skills. So maghatag ang response based on your knowledge, based on awareness or sa imong skills. And we have neutralization. It is the shifting of an existing attitude to the neutral zone. So meaning ang responses nimo na bago tungod kay nakahibalo ka adto nga mensahe. So naghatag kag uh, something kabaguhan sa imo ang gilihok. So mao na ang types uh, neutralization na types sa response. Ang boomerang effect, it is a shift opposite to the direction that is intended. So gitubag ra pud pagbalik ang response nimo balik ra pud gibalik ra nimo sa source ang pangutana. So that's boomerang effect. And then the conversation is the maintenance of existing attitude. Okay, mao na ang atong types of responses, the cognitive, neutralization, boomerang and conversation. So mao ni ang mga barriers to effective communication. So effective unta atong communication but naa may mga barrier. So ang first barrier ang atong perception. So dire effective atong communication because the people see things differently. Okay? Lailay atong pagtan-aw. Diba? Lailay atong um, pagtan-aw ana. Okay? The perception. People see things differently. So isa ka barrier na kay mag-communicate ta, yung ano yung nag-storya ta ka ron. Pero insist man ka nga mauto yung mo nakita. Ako, mo insist po kung mauto yung nakita. Maugid ni siya, pasabot. So, dili effective atong communication. Ang ikaduha nga rason nga nang uh, barrier to effective communication ang atong language. Use of jargon words. Okay? Use of jargon words. So meaning, mabase po na sa atong mga languages na gigamit. Between Chabacano and Cebuano, lahi ng nakuan. Or between parang mga, mga millennial term karon nga dili makasabot ang mga farmer na gibalini mo ang word na nga na dili good effective ang communication because wala nang kasinabot. Ikatulo ang semantic. Watch that word meanings. So mga semantic meanings, semantic words because through that word wa kabalo nga lain ang meaning para sa iyaha. So isa na ka barrier. Ang ikaupat ang inflection. Meaning inflection Ang minsay nga imong ipaabot, asay unsa yung pasis adto? Unsa yung paubo ipasabot nimo? Okay? Mao na ang atong uh, isa ka barrier or isa ka barrier personal interest. Okay kanang personal interest meaning paggamit nato sa I me myself, me myself and I meaning meaning dili magpabuot. Mo ni akong pagsabot, mo ni akong interpretation sa message. Ako gid ni. So, ingana gid dapat. Okay kanang nga minsay. Okay? Murag naar sa imo tanan naka-center. So nituon na sa imo tanan pero dili na siya effective nga communication. Next emotion. So watch out for the red flag. So kay basic to emotion na nasuko na ta nagsing kanata, dili gid effective atong communication. Mo nang dapat na isa nga mo adjust for that emotion. And then on the attention, mo nang ginaingon nako Communication is not effective if you are physically present but mentally absent. Okay? So ang atong i-classic ka ron, dili na effective sa inyo ha, dili na siya masulod sa inyong um, utok o panghunaw na if you are only physically present but mentally absent. Okay, there is no communication. Or kung mangutan ako, kung klasi pag ini sa atong estudyante, tawag ko na ako yung pangalan, hindi na matubag, nung mag-absent iya mental abilities. Okay? Or another barrier word din is, what is it that you want to say? Nung makapangunta na ta ba? Kung sa yun, gusto isulti. Tagang kagkag pasikot-sikot, tagang kagkag words, tagang kagkag gusto ingon, diritsu ako. Mga na ba? Kaya para na-effective communication. Kaya kung dagang kagkag words, tagang kagkag flower-flower, o sa imong buti pasabot dugay pa kayo wala idigid na effective nga communication diretso ha no ang tuyo or kanang inference isa na ka barrier kanang inference sa inference 
makayuntag, I thought you said, or sabi saya apa, abi manggud na ako, moto imong giingon. So abi manggud na ako. Sa pura lang ta abi, diha na dayon nga, dili effective ang atong communication. Dili effective ang atong communication. So, mao na siya ang mga barriers to effective communication. Okay, nata yung mga model, communication models. Okay, the communication model, we have the source, message, channel, and receiver. Mone ang model ni Berlo. Okay, Berlo model. So, the basic communication process. Okay? The source send the message to the receiver by the use of the channel. Okay, mona ang model ni Berlo. SMCR lang yun. Straight. No, straight. SMCR. Sorry na, nag-unit ko na kimalag na ko na kong tunan. SMCR. Okay, Berlo model. Straight lang yun. SMCR. Now, ang kang Berlo nga model represent a communication process that occurs as a source drops the messages based on one communication skills or attitude. And this message are transmitted along channel which include the senses. And the receiver interpret the messages based on a communication skills, knowledge, and etc. But ang kang Berlo nga model, kulangan lang gid siya og feedback. So meaning ang kang Berlo nga model is only a one-way process, one-way communication process. No is MCR, taman ra sa receiver. Meaning gisultihan lang tamo nga mauni ang Berlo's model. Wala kay response ako ah. So mura na ang kang Berlo, SMCR lang taman. Okay? Ang kang last well is complete. Ang kang last will, mauna niyang pinakamaayo. So from the source, give the message through channel to the receiver with the effect. So nai feedback ni uh, receiver. Okay, nai feedback ni uh, receiver. So wait lang, okay. Okay. So again, um, sa atong communication model, we have first kang Berlo nga model, which is the SMCR. And uh, the next, kang Laswell model. Okay, ang kang Laswell nga model is uh, on complete, no? Natay source, message, channel, receiver, and the effects. So wait lang naman no? nag-eco ang atong live.
Okay, from uh, the model of Blaswell, again, SMCRE. So, complete ni siya. So, who says what in what channel to home with what effects? So, this is a two-way process. No, kang Blaswell lang git ang atong complete na model of communication process. And kang Shannon and Weaver model. So, kang Shannon and Weaver, we have the source. The source, uh, gina-input pang iyahang... Uh, mensahe nga iingon through channel then after that ginadecode aya mo abot kang receiver but the difference lang kang siya nun is there is a noise so during delivery of the message na ay noise so nagid na um, noise na to well example magdulot tag message relay pag natay i-relay nga message lahi na lahi na rin ang maingon sa kinatapusan nga tao di ba because because there is noise. Maramag na-disturb ang imuhang communication kay na ay saba kayo. So nalahin na noon ang ato ang pag-ingon sa uh, information. So this model is often referred as an information model. Okay, a drawback is that ang model, it is only one-way rapport process. Na wala gya po yung effect. Ang uh, naalang niya ani is the noise. So the noise indicates those factors that disturb or otherwise influence the messages as they are being transmitted. Okay, mauna ang kang um, Shannon and Weaver model. Okay? So the next model ang kang Osgood and Shram's model. Okay, for the Osgood and Shram, uh, okay, for the live, so nawala ang kagani na, so muna ang nag-off ko. I have a new live siguro. Yes, I have a new live. So pakita na po na po again sa ako ang account. So dito na po sila sa new live. Murag na na stop ng hours at to, no? Dito na taman, murag 8 hours na to taman. And another hour na po, another live. Okay, pakiingon lang ko sa inyong classmate. I-search na po na akong Facebook, nasa akong timeline, ang um, atong live for this topic. Okay, thank you. No? At least nakita na. Okay, mauna ang uh, Kang Osgood and Shams model. Circular po ang iya ha. So, ang message, ginadecode pa na apa interpreter, encoder, message na po, ginadecode, interpreter, decoder, message again sa cycle. So nga nung circular nature ka ang pagsabot niya sa communication? Nga nung circular? Because the participants uh, swap between the role of a source and the receiver. Because as a source, pwede ka mahimog receiver. Or as a receiver, pwede ka mahimog source. So si Wilbur Schramm stated, in fact, it is a misleading to think of the communication process as starting somewhere. It is really in this. So sa pagtuon ni Shram, ang atong communication walay sinugdanan o walay katapusan. So muna, ana yun ang iyahang model. Circular flow model. Okay, muna ang iyahang model ni Osgood and Shrams. So lahi bang kaganyan no? ang kang Berlo straight lang is MCR. Ang kang Laswell is straight but nai additional na effect. Ang kang Isa to kaganina, ikatulo. Uh, Shannon and Weaver. Um, One-way process lang. Is MCR, is MCR lang yapon. But there is a noise no, between the channel and the message. While ang kang Osgood and Shrams, it is a circular flow. Okay, circular flow, the message. Muna yung ginaingon niya nga. Mag-sopra ni, ni source or ni receiver. So, muna iyang pagsabot. So, muna ang circular flow ang iyahang model. So, mauto ang mga model sa communication. Okay? Again, atay Berlo model, kang Laswell model, Osgood and Shams, and kang Shannon and Weaver model. Okay? So, we are uh, on the end na sa atong communication in extension. So next topic na punta, extension approaches. Okay, but before that, nasabtan ba ang communication 
in extension. Yes, sir. Okay. So, thank you. So, now let's proceed na sa ito ang extension approach. So, sa atong makita, no, as a spec spectrum, the approach is uh, on the whole spectrum of the system. Ito yung mga extension approaches na gamiton. Then, in one approach na ay extension method na kailangan na ito gamiton, and in every method na ay technique na gamiton. Okay. So, muna ang ginaingon that an approach embraces the entire spectrum of the process. So makita niyo sa figure, entire spectrum siya yun, ang pinakadako. Extension approach. It states a point of view, a philosophy, or an article of faith, according to Garcia, 1989. So within an approach, sa katong dako nga circle na to, there can be several methods. So sa ikaduha na ay methods. There several methods. So, unsa na yung, unsa na yung method? So, when we say method, it is a procedural consisting of a series of action arranged logically for the smooth flow of operation. Okay? It is the procedure or step-by-step -step guiding prospective clients. So, in one approach, na kay method or procedure masundon para mas maayo ang pagpadagan, smooth ang atong pagpadagan sa ato ang extension activity. Okay? So, muna ang method. So, katong as figure, under the method na atay technique. Di ba? So, the technique, it is a particular trick, strategy, or individual artistry of the teachers or extension worker. So, kikabala naman ka, unsa imuhang method na gamiton sa extension. After that method, unsa na technique? para mas effective ang ako ang pagtudlo. So this technique is the art or skill of performance. Kimo na atong technique. And we have strategies. The strategies are approaches and the method chosen or developed to reach a particular set of goal. Unsa lang yung strategy na naman kay technique, na kay trick. So, ang sana yung strategy. Ang sana yung technique or strategy imo gamiton. Okay? Now, the extension approach, atong balikan ng extension approach, it is an organized and coherent combination of strategies and methods designed to make the rural extension effective in a certain area. So, it embodies the philosophy of a system. It spells the of the system, the style of action, which by and large, it determines the direction and nature or style of the various aspects of the system. Okay, mo nang atong approaches. No, the combination of strategies and methods. So, mo ang mga different extension Approaches. So, not a different extension approaches. First approach ng atong general agricultural extension approach. In general agricultural extension approach. So, this approach, uh, the nature of this approach is the transfer of technology. So, mga general, ang kining approach, transfer of technology yan nature. So, ang agency nga nag-practice aning approach ang atong um, Department of Agriculture ATI no transfer of technology kay mao man ilang purpose so conduct or training to transfer of technology so kining general agricultural extension approach ilang gigamit so the basic assumption aning approach technology and information are available but are not being used by the farmer but if this could be communicated to the farmers, the farm practices would be improved. So the purpose of this approach is to help the farmers increase their production. <clears throat> okay. So the measure of success of uh, this approach 
is increase in the national production of the commodities being emphasized in national program. Okay? Transfer of technology. Again, ang agency na nag-practice ani ang ato ang um, ETI. E transfer of technology. The next approach, kaya atong commodity. Okay? Commodity specialized approach. <coughs> commodity specialized approach. So the nature of this approach is highly specialized and is focused on one export crop or aspect of farming. So one crop pra iyang ginafocus. So example ani nga agency nga nagpractice ani nga approach is ang atong fill rice. No? Rice lagi iyang focus sa commodity. Fill rice. So the basic assumption of this commodity specialized approach is the way to increase productivity and production of a particular commodity is to concentrate on that one grouping extension. So muna nag-concentrate lang sila sa Osaka community which is the rice. Ang purpose for ano yung approach is to increase the production of a commodity. Okay? And the measure of success, if gamito ni siya, increase in yield and the total production of the crops being emphasized. Now we have the project approach. Okay, the project approach the nature of this is uh, the fixed period of time, large funding. Meaning, um, you conduct a research, you conduct that uh, experiment, but um, in a short time, na period, fixed period of time. Example, sa tagang kag kwarta, dako lang imong kundo anino, dako kag funding. Tagang kag dako ang kwarta, example, 1 million, but you must uh, finish the, the research for only one year. One year lang. So, na fix time. Tangan kag funding but kung say magamit ni sa mga project approach ka sa atong research offices sa mga eskwelahan, ang mga project approach tangan lang funding pero humanon lang ana nga tuig. Okay? So the purpose of this is to demonstrate within the project area what can be accomplished in a short period of time. Dimo nang atong project approach. Okay, the next one, the farming system development approach. Okay, the farming system development approach is an interdisciplinary approach. So interdisciplinary siya. The basic assumption of this is the technology which fits the needs of the farmers is not available and needs to be generated locally. So Kung unsa lang ang naa farmer, mao lang ang ilang i-generate. So mo ang farming system development approach. So the purpose of this approach is to provide the extension person and through their farmer with the research result tailored to meet the needs and interest of the farming system. So mag-provide ang extension person and through the farm people nga i-introduce ang research result. Okay? that is tailored on the needs of the farming system. Next approach, atong training and visit approach. Okay, the training and visit approach it is highly disciplined and patterned with fixed schedule for training and visit to the farmers. So meaning, uh, training and visit na from the word training and visit. So magkanda ka o training, pero kailangan ka mag farm visa farm and home visit sa ilaha no na kay fix schedule of training sa ilaha okay visit dito gid sa ilaha community or barangay next the cost sharing approach cost sharing approach is the commitment of learners to participate if they pay some part of the cost no ang mga learners nag participate pero nag nagamot pud ba no nag naipud bayad na pud ilang contribution okay na ilang uh, contribution on uh, the cost you know, sa kana nga kana nga technology okay so the mission of success or the, the purpose ti ani is to make funding of the agex affordable and sustainable at the central or local level now the next approach agricultural extension participatory approach 
Okay, this agriculture extension puts responsibility of determining the program in the hands of farmers, making them partners in the government agencies. So, kining approach, ginapasag yun ang farmer, okay, but not I help, but ang farmer murag siya mangita o partner agency na mag-support sa iyahang um, technology. So, the purpose of this is to increase the production of the far of farming people okay and the next okay maoto ang mga approaches di ay nato okay so ag, again review ta agricultural extension participatory approach coast sharing approach training and visit approach farming system development approach project approach, commodity specialized approach, and the general agricultural extension approach. Okay, mauna ang mga approaches sa atong extension. Okay, sabdan, nakuha ba ang mga extension approaches na ito? Yes, sir. Okay, no. Thank you for your response. No response, nagit mo no. Kaya basig ng award. Okay. Now. Okay, sorry. Hapit na ko na ko na answer. Practice na punta. Okay. Question number one. Comment, commenta. Labi na na sa Facebook Live. Commenta sa tong answer. And um, na adiri sa tong Zoom. Pagi comment po sa tong answer. Okay. Question number one. To be able to get the positive response from the extension clientele, the extension worker must suit their program, their social, cultural, financial, and intellectual level. So the guiding principle in extension work is referred to as A, extension works with and through people. B, extension begins where the people are and with what resources they have. Or C, people learn by doing. Okay? Pwede naman mag-answer na yun? B, sir. Okay, some answer. We have B, C, A, B. So, klasi-klasi tag-answer. So, nandito sa atong Facebook o sa mga answer. So, wala pa yung nag-comment sa Facebook Live. We have A. So, atong sabto na? To be able to get the positive response from the extension. Okay, murag na ulahi di ayang sa Facebook. No? From the extension clientele, the extension worker must suit their program to their social, cultural, financial, and intellectual level. So, unsa siya nga guiding principle sa extension? Isang obyo ang answer nila, letter A. Uban, letter B. Ang uban po, letter C. Now, matawag ba nato siya nga people learn by doing if it is, uh, ang imong ginatanaw lang is suit sa ilang program matawag ba nato nga people learn by doing or dili suit lang so meaning bagay lang sa ila people learn by doing ba na dili no dili na siya people learn by doing because wala kay gina hatag nga procedure no wala kay ginahatag nga procedure sa ila or okay eliminate sa letter C then it's a letter A. Extension work with and through people. So pwede ba siya na nga principle? Meaning the extension worker suit their program to their social, cultural, financial, and intellectual level? Letter A ba ta? Or pwede ito sa letter B. Extension begin where the people are and with what resources they have. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay. So, the answer for this one, okay, the answer for this one is letter letter B. The extension begins where the people are and with what they have. Nga naman, nga nung kanang answer because ikaw nga extension worker nangita ka kung unsay bagay sa ilaha, sa ilahang base o sa ilahang social, cultural, financial, and intellectual level. So that social, cultural, and financial, and intellectual level mo na ang mga resources with what they have. Kung say na sa ilaha. So mo na ang atong answer is letter B. Extension begins where the people are and with what resources they have. Okay, that's correct. No, thank you. Next question. The following is the function of the agricultural extension. Except A. Uplift the social and educational standard of rural life. B. Increase the political advantage of the incumbent LGU official. C. Improve the farming methods and techniques. B, sir. Okay, answer na mo. Okay, number two, majority of the answer is letter B. Okay, the correct answer is letter Yes, letter B. Because the function of the AGX is to uplift the social and educational standard and to improve the farming methods and techniques. Except man ang pangutana, so meaning dili gid dapat dili function sa agx nga mag increase ang political advantage kanang moadto ang mayor or kapitan sa extension kay pagpahumot so dili na siya pwede okay dili na no, dili nato gamiton ang mga political advantages nato diya sa ag, atong agricultural extension okay thank you at is no, tama gyud no nakaanswer gyud mo next question The extension agent can provide the rural people with useful and practical knowledge only when he understand the rural people's blank. A. Task environment. B. Condition. C. Resources. D. Needs. D, sir. Okay, pwede po mag-answer. Okay. So, the majority of the answer letter D. And yes, that's the correct answer. Okay, ang kailangan nato dapat masabta nato ang rural people's needs. Yes, tama. Ang needs natay training needs assessment. Okay, next question. Today, a faster and cheaper way to ask for a provide brief information or technology advice is through sending message from mobile mobile phones using the SMS. So SMS means A, short memorandum service, B, special message service, C, short message service, or D, short message system. B, sir. Okay, so sorry na pa uh, important nga gipan lang. Okay, the answer for this one is letter B. Ang mga answer ninyo is majority letter C. 
And uh, the answer is letter C. That's correct. The short message service. Okay. So next. Okay, next question. Effective communication if. Effective communication if A, T have similar education background. B, they are of the same nationality. C, they are of the same sex. Or D, they have established a common field of experience. D, sir. Okay, yes, the answer is letter D. D have established a common field of experience. Okay, next question. The research result shows the amount of information remembered using the various teaching methods. Which among the following yields the highest? So, on site, pwede na to mas mas magamit nato para mapakita nato ang research result information a lecture b lecture and visual c seeing and doing d visual b sir okay so the answer is letter Letter C, seeing and doing. Because this is the research result. So meaning research result, kailangan na, kailangan na to makita because this is an agricultural experiment, di ba? agricultural research. We have to learn kung silang gibuhat. So seeing and doing. Because people learn by doing. So ato nakita and then atong gibuhat. Letter C, yun ang answer, Ana. Okay, mas maayo yun atong gibuhat ang research result. Next question. Who benefits from feedback? Source. Okay. Ang makabenefits sa feedback is ang atong source. Tinood na siya. Correct. Source. Because the feedback, it is from the Receiver nga ihatag niya balit kang source. That's correct. Next question. In extension, the first and foremost of a change agent is that of a A planner, B teacher, C learner, D organizer. Teacher. Okay, the answer B. Okay, the answer is if you are a change agent, yes, the first and foremost is you are a teacher. Teacher gina imong role, no? Because you have to educate the farmer, okay, the client. Okay, next question. In this approach, the Farmers Association and other stakeholders in the community influence and exercise the greater control of extension priorities and activities. A, farming system development approach. B, participatory agricultural extension. C, project approach. D, cost sharing approach. A, sir. Okay, the answer is letter B. Nga naman, again, ang Farmers Association and other stakeholders in the community influence and exercise the greater so meaning the participation of the farmers and the stakeholders is very important. So, dili na ito siya matawag na farming system. Hindi na ito siya matawag ng project kung dili po, labaw na po na nga, dili cost sharing. So it is participatory agricultural 
extension. Letter B. Okay, next question. An approach to demonstrate what can be done in a short period of time. A, farming systems. B, participatory. C, project. D, cost sharing. C. Project approach, sir. Yes, in a short period of time, meaning fixed period, large funding, ang atong letter C, the project approach. Yes, that's good. Okay. Next question. A holistic approach in which the farmers participate actively in partnership with interdisciplinary team of researchers. So, asa na po anang upat? A, sir, A. Okay, letter A. So, yes, mauna ang atong farming system development approach. Yes, correct. Now, kini. Any contamination in the communication channel is A, fidelity, B, homophily, C, noise, D, static sound. Noise. Letter D. Contamination. So meaning, contamination sa communication channel. Mone ang kang Shannon and Weaver model. Ang say na adit to? So letter C, the noise. It is the contamination in the communication channel. Okay, so moto ang atong practice quiz lang sa ato ang ato nga topic. Now, we will discuss on the extension teaching methods. So silang hapit na ta? Hapit na ta na ano ta sa ilang katapik para mahuman na lain ta. So, extension teaching method. Wait lang. Ang sa mga unsa nga mga teaching method ang atong gamito. So, extension method method according to so according to the forms we have the written form, spoken, visual or objects, and the spoken and visual. Okay. Mo na ang mga teaching methods according to form. So, for example, of that um, written form, ang atong bulletins, circular letters, leaflets, um, news article, and personal letter. In atong spoken, this is employed during meetings, farm and home visit, office calls, and the radio call. Atong visual or objects, that is our exhibit, uh, motion, pictures, posters, result demonstration, slide and television. So, kana makita na to. Then, ang spoken and visual, mo nang atong gisulti o atong nakita. So, mo nang atong mga visual aids, mga demonstration, mga slides, and pag-meeting na to, mo nag-involve o picture. So, mo nang spoken and visual object. So, mo nang ang ETM or extension teaching method according to form again written form spoken visual or object and the spoken and visual object now according to the in uh, number of clientele Okay, according to the number of clientels, natay gitawag na or natay individual approach, natay group approach, and we have the mass mass media approach. So, kini individual approach, of course, one 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 is to one ngit tari ba? Ang atong example ana, ang atong farm and home visit, office calls, personal letter, and the result demonstration. Okay. So, mo na ang atong individual approach ng mga teaching method. So, pwede ta mo ato sa atong baray sa atong farmer, that's individual because ikaw ra po ang isa. Isa ra po ang imong Office call. So, meaning mo ato ang uh, uh, extension. Wait lang. Ha? 
Ano ang extension worker ang ang farmer sa extension office? So, manang office call. Personal letter. Padala personal letter and the result demonstration. Personal letter. Padala personal letter and the result Okay, so this approach proceeds from mutual discussion that is basically interpersonal. So, several modes ang atong individual. Muna ang mga participatory, um, counseling model, diagnosis prescription model. Okay, mauna ang ato ang individual approach. Now, ang atong group approach. Ikaduha nga method according to the number of clientele. Ang group approach mo ng mga meetings na to. Example sa atong group approach, the method demonstration, leadership training, lecture, the film forum program planning, the field meetings, symposium, the panel discussion, the group discussion, extension classes, seminar workshop, educational tours, field days, camping, achievement days, role playing, skits, and the puppet show. Mauna ang mga example sa group approach. Then we have the mass media. Of course, kabalog yung mass media. It is employed via use of publication. So example sa mga mass media, mga bulletins, pamphlets, circulars, leaflets, flyers, news stories, poster, exhibit, and the radio, TV, and of course, films. So this mass media serves to create awareness of the innovation and stimulation of interest. So atong isa-isahon ang mga example atong individual, group, and the mass media. So first, nata sa farm and home visit. This is under individual approach. The farm and home visit, this is an extension teaching method. Ang ETM nata, no? extension teaching method na siya, no? in which the extension worker go to the farm and home and meet the farmer. So, klaro kayo from the word farm and home. Si extension worker, mo ato sa farm or sa balay sa mga, o balay sa farmer. And then, mag-provide of information about sa farm. Diba atong masabdan na ang farm and home visit? Kana lang siya. Then, Office call. So, akong ginaingon na ang farm people or the farmer will go to your office or extension office para mga yung information or assistance. So, dili kay uh, literally nga mag-office call po ta. So, pwede po ta muad to sa extension office nila. Okay, maunang office call. Na ay direct personal contact between the farmer and the extension agent. That is office call, no? Individual na siya kay ni Adto Ramang ka. Di ba ni Adto kasi yung office na ikaw ra isa. Okay? Next, the letters and correspondence. So, kini, dili na kayo na siya importante sa karon, no? Pag sa pag-deliver sa agricultural information. No? Ang main value ani niya na lies in answering the inquiries about the new kinds of seed. No? For example, ni Ana, and um, new publications and the control of pests and diseases of the crops. Then we have the result. Ang result demonstration, maman sir, na siya sa individual approach because uh, it establishes the proof or that an improved practice advocated by the extension worker is applicable uh, applicable locally uh, under under the supervision of the extension worker so ingana siya ang uh, result and result demonstration so meaning from the result of your research um imo siyang gi introduce ang result so meaning introduce nimo ang result sa uh, farmer or sa mga clientele nimo okay sa farmer 
And okay, mo na ang result demonstration. Ginapakita na gini mo ang resulta dito. So. Okay, mo na gina ang evidence ni mo that result demonstration. Sa individual, sa marang individual approach siya. Okay, next sa group approach na punta. Meeting is under the group approach. Kung mayroon tawag meeting, of course, it is an assembly of the group of people or farmers. Meeting. Anong plano sila, nag-deliberate sila, nag-decide sila kung ano sa plano sa ilahang business. That's meeting. Okay? Now, method demonstration. Kining method demonstration, you have uh, is a demonstration within a short time given by the extension worker for the purpose of teaching skills to a group or to show by example of the practical application. So meaning, na kay short time to do that, okay, method yung example, in ani ang pagbuhat sa atong or pag-analyze or pag-sticky na ito, di ba? Mag-sul sampling sa ta, then atong itapok ang yuta, magkuha lang tag-isang kilo ad to, kinkad to lang atong i-analyze. So, analyze na ito ang itong NPK, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So, na kay method, unsa saan ni mo paggamit. Okay. How to do something. Okay? It is an effective method because during the process, all best teaching means. So, mas maayog yun or mas effective yun ang itong method demonstration. Okay? At mapasabot kayo, nakita niya ang saan pagbuhat. Okay? Mawa nang pinaka-effective yun ang itong Method demonstration. Okay, now the lecture. Okay, lecture, of course, example in any that is given by the extension worker and the subject matter to present the technical information or to develop the background and appreciation. So it is a one way communication from students. Okay, mag lecture naman ka. So meaning, kung di ka magpa feedback. So that's lecture. So meaning klase lang ko nga, na minarapon mo. Okay, lecture lang na. Na kung may feedback, nga kung di pa ngayo, mo nang itawag na siya nga lecture forum. Okay? Discussion following a lecture. It is anyone in the audience who desire more information that me ask the speaker some questions. So na lang Q&A. So pwede na mo makuta na sa nga 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 nga. So mo na ang lecture forum. Okay, na na yung mga open forum. So, kung lecture lang, it is a one-way process lang to. Then, ang film forum, it is viewing an educational film that is similar to the lecture forum. So, pero kung namangutana ka, murag matubag na dito sa imong gitanaw, ang imong pangutana. Okay? Mauna ang film forum. Symposium, it is a short series of lectures. No short series of lectures lang, that is usually two to five speakers with different viewpoints. So, nakakay duha pa yung sila mga speaker pero lalay sila topic. Okay? So, lalay sila topic na i-discuss sa inyo. That's symposium. Mayroon tag panel discussion mga group sa speakers or resource person, two to eight po ni sila that participate in a supposedly informal discussion on a topic. So, panel discussions like sa thesis po, discussion of your thesis resolved and uh, the any discussion that involved mga panel discussion nila, mga informal discussion. And we have the brainstorming. It is a group approach on brainstorming. It is an activity which a deliberate attempt is made to think and speak out freely. Then at open forum, this is for clarification, question, objection to the ideas. And we have what we called Philip 66, meaning six persons in a six-minute discussion. Okay, the Philip 66, ha? balik-balik ni siya nga sa exam. Kining Philip 66. Six person in a six-minute discussion. Then extension classes, group approach pa na siya. Yes, of course, akong giniingon, murag training, more on the agricultural topic, no? mga production na ito, yung manang mga extension classes. So, ang atong um, beneficiary, of course, atong mga farmers, homemakers, and the youth. 
Seminar workshop. Yes, seminar workshop. A type of approach that is extensively used in the training of the extension personnel and the local leaders. Okay, manang seminar workshop. A training of extension personnel. Ano tayo mga program planning meetings? Okay, ang mga extension worker po, maapil ani nga mga meeting for the program planning. Okay, nga na lang. No? Actually, kini nga mga method, ato naman gin may balaan sa mga uh, pang buhaton ani. Because we all know nga maog gini ang iyang definition. Okay? So, ang educational tour, ano yung pag, uh, pag visit no sa mga research station or agricultural institution or the learning site or mga successful farm or project to observe no or to acquaint the farmers of the modern technology mga group report sa farmer no, group sa farmer nga magadto sa mga uh, learning sites or research station okay para ma makita nila ang practice sa usa ka institution or sa usa ka uh, farmer nila Okay. Then the field days, of course, mag-conduct. Labi na kasi yung school lang, mag-conduct mag mo farmer field days. Nga na. So a field day is an activity designed to influence a large number of people gathered in one place at one time. No large number of people. Field day ka, but on the field day, daga na kayo extension method na gigamit diha. Pwede na ka mag-method demo, pwede ka mag-result demo, pwede ka mag-visit sa farm. So, dagang kayos. I think general activity ng no, atong field days. Okay? In camps, it is a group approach. Of course, camp, uh, mag-camping, a group method with special function. So, mag-camping with na ay uh, reason no? sa uh, interest nila sa ilang group. So, ang is, uh, especially ang 4-H club uh, na na Nagsugod in 1947. No? Camping ilang buhat. Then, ang role-playing, of course, ang pagdrama, dramatization, uh, which used emotional reaction of the participants, assuming an identity other than their own. So, pwede sila mag-role-play o theoretical o kanang magiging ng ideas na paghitabo or pwede nila i-role-play ang uh, tinuod yun nga na hitabo. Okay? Then achievement based on rallies. Now this is the purpose of giving public recognition <coughs> to worthwhile accomplishments. Okay? More achievement based on rallies. Now on the mass media, example sa tong mass media poster, a good poster tells what, where, and when. Okay? Na po tayo exhibit. A good exhibit can tell a story much quicker than any communication. So poster, makita ito po. Kung uh, saan ang say, say pasabot ana. Then exhibit, mga display uh, of mga exhibit sa ito na may balan. Kung saan na siya. Napot tayo radio. It is one of the fastest and most powerful means of mass communication that can reach all cultural levels. Okay. So practice ata. Kung saan yung answer. Number uh, one question.
Okay, the answer is letter B. Okay, dili na to siya matawag na uh, method demonstration. Okay? So, kay ang ato pangutan na extension teaching method that gives the change agent the maximum information. So, meaning, um, na yung mura gud ni siya individual approach. Kay ikaw nga change agent, mga tagal man ka information on your clients. Mga tagal information. So, meaning, kung say, pinakamaayo. So, dili na to siya matawag ng method demonstration. Method is the group. Apo, group approach naman na siya. So, ato gud siya, uh, mas makata gud ng maximum information if we visit their farm or their home. Diba? Ma istorya to ang farmer. So, the answer is letter B. Di po siya office call. Kaya office call si farmer mag to sa office. Di po na to siya matawag na letter. Lay ura kayo, no? Murag, kung letter ta, Dili kaya siya makatag o information. Anang maximum information. Gamayra nga information makatag. Okay, so manang atong answer, letter B. Next question. The least useful method under rural the, uh, Philippine condition. The least useful method under rural informal discussion okay the answer is be say your answer d okay pinaka least useful method under rural philippine condition okay pinaka okay. least under rural under rural okay rural philippine condition so kay na to magamit Unata sa rural condition. Unsa ka ha? Letter. Natay letter D. Natay letter B. Uh, say answer sa Facebook Live. Okay. The answer, ang pinakalis useful method under rural condition is ang atong, yes, correct, letter B. Telephone call. So, kay kung in, under rural condition, pwede lang mo magka-istorya ng informal discussion about about uh, agriculture di ba mas magamit ninyo sa rural kay istorya naman mo ang result di mo magamit na nimo because magpakita ra kag result diretso sa iya which is magayon kag effective ang imong research ang office call magamit kya po na siya because um to ka mo adto ra man ka sa extension office na amang pud na sa rural condition so ang telephone call dili tanan under sa rural areas na ay Kurente na ay telephone. So, munang, murag list lang git guys siya nga magamit na to. Under rural condition. So, dilita na na ay telephone. That's letter B. Next question. Next question. So what is your answer? The question, methods which requires a certain level of literacy among clients. So what is your answer? The question, methods which requires a certain level of literacy among clients. So what is your answer? The question, methods which requires a certain level of literacy among clients. Publications. Okay, most of the answers, D. Okay, certain level of literacy is letter D. Publication. Tama no, ang atong paghatag sa mga pamphlets, flyers, um, brochures, sumuha na siya. No? Requires a certain level level of literacy. Next, it requires a local leader or a cooperator to work with. What method? Next. Requires a local leader or a 
Okay, the answer is after A, campaign. So, ang ginabuhat manggod ni local operator is to make a campaign on the neighbor na gamiton ang technology. Okay? Dili man siya ang mukandak o method demonstration because ang mukandak anang method ang atong extension agent. Dili po ang farmer, ang local leader ang mukandak sa farm visit because ang mukandak sa farm visit ang atong extension agent. And dili po si farmer ang matag o short demonstration because it's only the extension agent. Ang pwede mabuhat ni local leader is mag-campaign no, sa iyang mga uh, silingan to work with. No? Para mas, mas mabuhat nila ang technology nga adapt ni uh, community or ni cooperator. Okay? So, ang ana ang atong answer. Next, if you were a change agent or an extension worker, which of the following would you choose to effect understanding on the life cycle of STEM border? A pie chart, B wall chart, C poster, D bar graph. The life cycle of STEM border. A pie chart, B wall chart, C poster. Poster. Letter C. Letter C. Poster. Okay, most of your answer, letter C, and I put my answer on letter B. Again, pie chart, of course, ang pie chart, eliminate naman nato, di ba? Kaya ang pie chart is only the circle with the percentage. Di magigit nato magamit. Bar graph, di magigit nato magamit. Because the bar graph, ano lang na siya, bar lang na siya. Wala, di nato makita ang pictures. Then it's a poster or wall chart. Now, kung may itong poster, it tells what, where, and when. So, na ay pictures o na ay mga information ang naa sa poster. But kung may itong wall chart, na ay picture with gamay lang nga mga text that describe, example, the stages or the life cycle of that particular Um, insect or sa nang commodity. So therefore, ang answers at to ang pangutana again life cycle of steam borer ang atong gamiton is letter B wall chart. Okay, letter B wall chart. Next, in evaluating the usefulness of an audio visual aid in extension, which among the following question? is at least important. Okay, sabi ito na ito, no? Kung mag-evaluate sa pag... Uh, sa halagaan ng atong audio-visual aid, unsa ang uh, question na uh, mas didikin na ito yeah, at agad pansin. Okay, uh, answer ninyo, uh, Ma'am Hazel, letter D. Okay, the answer of this is letter D. Yes, thank, uh, thank you, Ma'am Hazel. So D, is it colorful? Because, again, kung na kayo mga audio-visual aid, dili kayo tamo gamit ang mga colorful ng mga presentation. So, dili na kayo na ma-appreciate no, sa mga farmer na to. So, they need a simple, a plain white uh, presentation. Ayon nang grabe ka colorful. The plain white ng mga presentation na masabta ma nila dili so makita nila. No, kayo na na yun sa mga depresyon sa mata o kung sa panadiya. So, kaya una na to, yun, it is memorable. Yes, pwede na siya. It is culturally appropriate. Tapat, no? Intended audience. And it is easily perceived. So, diligid na siya dapat colorful. Murag, siguro, mubo na git kayo na ng mga pangutana. So, diligid kayo na to i-colorful ang atong mga audio-visual aid. Okay? So, mo lang ito atong mga practice um, <coughs> test lang. Okay? Now we will discuss on the community organizing. So it's almost five. We have 
I think three topics pa ang nabilin or uh, four topics. So, extend lang tano at least para mas ma-share na kung isin yung ha ang mga discussion. Okay, community organizing. When we see community, it is defined as an organization of families and individuals settled in a fairly compact and contiguous rural area with significant element of common life, as shown by the manners, custom, and tradition. Now, when we see manner, it is a way of doing something, and when we see custom, it is the social convention carried on by that tradition, and that tradition is handing down orally of customs, belief, and other and others from generation to generation. It is also refer to the people, ang itong community, community no? refers to the people and the pattern of social relationship among them which may be characterized by the values and norms. When you say values, it is a concept that has various shades of meaning. Now when we see norms, it is an accepted ways of behaving that govern the group of life in all societies and at all times. So the community organizing, it is a development strategy for building people's capabilities towards self-determinance and self-reliance. So it is a method and a process of educating, organizing, and mobilizing the people which leads to their own development. So one community organizing, no? to organize the community, organize the people. So not a task and function as a community organizer. Okay, the task and function of community organizer. So first task and uh, the, your function as a facilitator, okay? Okay, wait lang na next month. Okay, as a facilitator, you enhance individual and group strengths and minimizes the weaknesses and conflicts. Okay, facilitator man ka, as a community organizer mo facilitate ka, imong tanawon uh, ang strength o sa ibinta sa ka inyong grupo o minimize ang inyong mga uh, weaknesses. Okay? Uh, mga weaknesses and conflicts. So, heightens group unity and assist individuals and groups to respond to the common interest. Now, your, your uh, task also, kung community organizer ka, dapat you act as a trainer. So, as a trainer, you assess the training needs plans and conduct educational program to enhance the capabilities, assist leaders in training, others, and engage in practice through continuous dialogue with people. Okay, mauna ang imuhang task. Then, the next task, you, are, you act also as an advocate. Okay? So, as an advocate, you analyze and articulate the critical issues, assist others to reflect upon other issues, evokes and provokes the meaningful discussions and actions. Okay, may mo advocate No, you have to, uh, you have to solve the problem or you have to articulate the critical issues. Okay, advocate ka. And, the next task ni mo, pwede ka ma, ni mo researcher. Uh, researcher, as a researcher, you conduct social analysis, engages in participatory technology development, simplifies and in, in, uh, enriches the research concept and skills. So, mo na ang imuhang uh, rule no, as a researcher. Okay, community organizer man ka, researcher sa community. No, kung say, kung say mga problem, kung say kaya pwede na pamabuhay. The next task ni mo, pwede po ka, or dapat, you act as a planner yun. No, as a planner, you conduct analysis of area, area resources and potentials, assist the local groups in planning for the common good, and uh, systematizes the group action. Okay. 
Then your last function or last task is a, as a catalyst. You initiate debates and actions regarding the critical problems and monitor and nurture the growth of individual groups. So, mano ang task and function nimo as a community organizer. Okay, pwede man mo mahimo community organizer mang god. Na organize a group, organize the community. So, definition of community organization, it is the process of bringing about and maintaining adjustment between the social welfare needs and resources in a geographical area or special field of service, according to Dunham, 1958. So, mo ang community organizing. The short topic on community organizing. The short topic on community organizing. Now, we will discuss some approaches to rural change. Natay gitawag nga concentrated approach. Okay, the concentrated approach, the change agent does not cover the whole area at once, but limit his operation on a limited area or project. So, nakipagtrabaho siya or nakipaglink siya sa usa ka farmer, nga gitawag nato og cooperators, farmer cooperator. Meaning, example, assign ka nga barangay, but ay mo gina cover but uh, limited lang ang imong operation. So that's why uh, mangita lakag farmer cooperator to uh, sa mana, to impose your uh, introduced na innovation or technology sa farmer. So si farmer cooperator na ang mukandak at tong technology. Kimo na concentrated approach. <laughs> Napod tay team approach. So sa atong team approach the technicians with different fields of specialization work together as a team in developing an area. Okay? So, dagang kay technicians, it is composed of um, livestock technician, crop technician, farm management, or a home management technician. So, kung they work together as one. So, mas maayo, no? Kay mas dagan makatambag, no? Kang farmer. So this approach works well in areas far from the agricultural experiment st station or agricultural college. So dito gid siya sa mga farmer na to. No kay complete naman yun ang ato ang team. No natay livestock, natay crops, management and the home management. Na next approach is the cooperative approach. So in this approach there are different agencies involved. Agencies are involved, and in each agency has its own specialized function, as stated in the program. Okay, example na iti ay ana imuhang partner agency na pud ang atong LGO na pud ang lain nga agency. Sumo na ang cooperative approach. Next institution approach. Kini institutional. Um, this is to organize the farmers into association. No? Magbuhat ang farmer of association or a group. For example, the farmer association, Samahang Nayon, and the cooperatives. So, mga ito ang atong mga approaches to rural changes. Now, we will discuss the adoption process. So, listening, adoption process na ito. So the adoption process. We will define innovation and adoption. Now, when we see in innovation, it is an idea or practice or technology perceived as new by a person. Okay, new to a person that is innovation. Unsay bago para sa ila. So mo nang kita wag nato nga innovation. Kung may tag adoption, it is the process by which a person is exposed to, evaluate, and accept, or practice or reject a particular innovation. No proceso, adoption, kung ang i-introduce ng innovation or technology, imo ba i-adapt or dili? So mo ng adoption, imo ba ng kuhaton or dili? I-evaluate na nimo. That's adoption. 
there are characteristic of an innovation that determine its adoption or this is the adoption process first we have the relative advantage relative advantage it is the degree to which a farmer recognizes an innovation as better than the idea or practice he or she is currently practicing okay ang relative advantage meaning si farmer nakag naki na recognize niya ang innovation or new technology that that is better than the idea he is practicing so meaning yes nakaibalo siya so ginacompare lang niya ang iyahang gibuhat sa kanang innovation nga giintroduce ninyo okay manang relative advantage their comparison unsa ba kay mas maayo gyud na akong idea or kanang iyang technology now Next, the compatibility. Compatibility is the degree to which a farmer perceives the innovation or the new idea to be consistent with his socio-cultural values and beliefs and with previously introduced ideas and felt needs. Okay? Compatibility. So meaning, a farmer perceives that uh, ideas or technology that is consistent sa iyang pagtuo or sa iyang value. So, compatible ba na sa iyang pagtuo? Kanang technology na imong gi-introduce sa iya, compatible ba na sa ilang pagtuo? So, manang compatibility. The next one, complexity. So, complexity, it is the degree to which a farmer can understand and can follow an innovation. So maning complex mo nag something lesson pa gid ni. Kailangan pa nato subton or ato ba gid dapat sundon ang innovation. So kailangan sa gid nato subton. That's complexity. Now, trialability. The trialability is the degree to which an innovation can be experimented or duplicated on a small scale basis. So meaning katong innovation or technology nga gi-introduce Pwede ka mag-trial and error. So, pwede pa ni mo gamiton on a small scale. So, example lang, tanong ka, anya na, dito lang sa, gamay lang sa agad mo ang part ng buhaton anak. Di gini mo i-large scale tanan. So, nag-trial and error ka. Now, the last characteristic is observability. It is the degree to which the result of innovation can easily be observed by the farmers. Okay? atong nakita no ang technology na observe nato so mo nang observability okay, so mo na ang mga characteristic of an innovation that determine its adoption now the uh, diffusion process what is diffusion when we say diffusion it is defined as the spreading of information from a source to its intended receive or users and the stages through which the adoption passes. So innovation, new idea. Adoption is a process kung iyang i-accept uh, or reject ang innovation. Ang diffusion is spreading of information. So meaning, ginapahibalog yun ni mo uh, ang, ang result no, sa innovation. Okay? So, muna ang atong diffusion. So, there are stages of diffusion process. The first one, when you stages, dapat sunod na siya. So, the first one, awareness. Awareness is a stage when a person knows that an idea exists but lack the detail and information about it. So, meaning, aware ang, again, diffusion muna siya, na, na information na, 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 na hatag, na chika sa inyo ha. So, awareness, as a person, ikaw farmer, aware ka or nakabalo ka, nganaan na siya na technology. Pero, kulangan pa ka detali about anak. Wala pa ka information ana or kulang yun yung information about anak. Meaning, ah, kabalo man kung nganaan na, na, na technology, yung introduce sir, pero, ah, di man, marag, wala alam, kabalo lang ko, kanaan lang, di alam ko taman. So, that's awareness. Okay, kabalo siya. Now, ikaduhar nga buhaton, kung si farmer mangita og more information about the technology, 
Mamuta na na siya. Uh, na, mag-research na siya. So, meaning, Anna, ang sunod na stage na imong buwato is interest. Na na kay interest, Anna, na technology. Interested na ka. So, meaning, you seek more factual information as to what it is, how it works, kung kung sa advantages, Anna. So, kabalo ka. Once nga nang kabalo ka, mangutan na mang gidenta. Kung sa day about, Anna. Kabalo mang kung ana-ana. Kung sa day, Anna. Kung sa, ana. kung sa kaya maayo, kung i-practice na ko na, kung sa may nakamayo, Anna. So, meaning, Anna, kung sige kagpanguta na, na Anna kay interest about the technology. So, interested na ka, Anna, nga, technology. After that, tungkol sa iyong pagkapanguta na, sige kagpanguta na, o may mga... Uh, sa mind ba nang ano usta ka say conscious ka ba ano naana siya so imo na dai siya i-evaluate ikatulong nga stage evaluate nimo so evaluation when an individual show the interest in the idea as it applies to his farming operation so meaning ah nani na siya so ah, maori na siya pasabot i try ka na ko gamay lang so mo na evaluation i try ka na ko sa akong farming Butray ka ako ana pero dili na ako tanan gamay lang. So ni try ka evaluation na siya or gusto ka mo try pa ana. So nagplano na ka, evaluate na ka okay. I try gid ka nako, di ba? Ingana na man siya. So after evaluation, mao na ang trial. Ako gid ang try na ka. Pag try nimo, ginatimbang na nimo unsay risk or gin-apply nimo si small skill. Tapos unsay Uh, ang say resulta niya. Trial. Muna ang uh, ikaw pat na stage. After trial, if it is successful, gina-adapt na dahil mo ang technology. That is adoption. It is the final stage of the diffusion process. Kaya nakabalong ka anak nga na ang technology, uh, after na sa inyong manggipangbot na trial, imo na nang gi-adapt on a large scale. Meaning, Dili bitaw sa trial, dili pare sa trial nga dito ka sa mabuo gamay lang na area at mini whole area imo nang gina-practice o gina ginabuhat na na technology, di ba? So mao na ang five stages of the fusion process. Ayeta, no ayeta, meaning A interest, I or A awareness, I interest, E evaluation, T trial and letter A adoption. So muna ang five stages of diffusion process. Suno dapat na siya ka stages mana. But take note. Yes, take note of this. The farmer, ikaw farmer, you can also reject the innovation based on your observation and assessment. So example, um, taman, uh, naka-observe na ka nga or pag humanas sa inyong trial, or pag evaluate nimo kay nakita nimo na siya di ara kataman evaluation na kataman kay gina-reject na nimo siya gina-reject na nimo ang technology so ing ana siya so therefore the five order may not always occur in specified order so meaning kato akong ginaingon nga five order nga sunod-sunod dapat pwede di ay siya na dili magsunod kay pwede ang trial ato na siya Iskip, di natin mag-trial. Pwede gani nga, tama na ito sa evaluation. I-reject na natin ang technology. Or pwede, pag sa interest, adoption to diretso. Kaya gusto na ako, nga pag human ako, nakabalo ko ana, ako na i-apply sa akong farm. So, yung ba? So, dili gid siya mag-rely, uh, di gid siya mag-rely on that five order. Because the adoption, may not always be the end process. Yes. Pwede ang adoption, dili na siya ang ato ang end process. Because more information pa ang kailangan na i-confirm or i-reinforce. Munang, pwede po ang last process, dito na tatama sa trial. Or pwede ang atong last process, interest. Diba? So wala yun adoption. So meaning, mo lang yun na, kung magsunod-sunod, mo lang yun na ang stages niya. Kung makompleto na ito na But kung dito na katawan, pwede mo put doon. So pwede dili siya magsunod ng atong diffusion process. Okay? So ingana na siya. 
Okay? So, nanata sa second to the last topic. Para yung tano, kaya at least five na para mahumanat ha. <coughs> categories of adapters. Okay. Sa categories of adapters, natay innovators, early adapters, early majority, late majority, and the guards. Okay. Mga na categories of adapters sa technology na to. Okay. Sunod na sila. Innovators, early adapters, early majority, late majority, and the guards. Okay. Now, the first one, okay, the first one, laban lang tanong kay Pusogyud kayong ulan ng mga singgit. Singgit na ko dire. Okay, basta din yung madunggan. Okay, sakit na kayo dire yun. Again, the innovators na the first uh, type of adapter, innovators na to. So, itawag na ito nga venture sum. Okay, venture sum. So, they are the first people in locality to adapt an innovation or the new ideas. Okay? They are the first people, meaning innovators, they are risk taker. They take the calculated risk. Kay after nila mahibalan ang technology, mahibalan nila ang technology, gi-adapt nila diritso. Murag wala sila na nag-trial and error. So gina-adapt nila diritso. So these innovators have larger farms, higher net worth, and more educated and informed. They are more educated and informed. And the innovators are highly respected and have prestige. And the experiment, because ikaw, para na ko si entrepreneur, mag-business ka, you take the calculated risk. Kay business man man ka, balag na ako nga kapital, di risk na ni mo nga maugid na, balag maong sa panandaya kay, you are a pure entrepreneur, a pure businessman. Take risk, bid ka, bisa kung sa panay mahitabo. So yung nga na yung innovators, Bisa dili siya successful ang technology, take risk siya, kaya mas hindi po successful, di ba? So muna iyang ginabuhan. No, gina, gina-adapt yun niya direct so ang technology nga gi-introduce. Okay, the innovators, the venture sa. Okay. The next one after innovators, ang atong ikaduha. The innovators na to, uh, ikaduha na to, ang early adapters. In early adapters, they follow the innovators. Nunisunod sila sa innovators. They are usually younger than the average. They have higher education than those is slower to adapt. So ikaduha kang kuan. So itawag sila nga respectable. Respectable. They participate actively in community organization and programs. And they are more informed and they read the paper and the magazines. So meaning, ikano lang sa innovator, diligid sila nga, muna yung diritso o kuan, uh, adapt at nga technology. Mufollow lang sila. No, follow the leader lang na sila. Tingnan na ang early adapters. After early adapters, ang ikatulo, mga delivery, itawag na itong mga deliberate. So itawag na itong early majority. A DR is slightly above average in age, education, and farming experience. Okay? They are not elected leaders but they are active in the community. So mo na ang ato ang early majority. Active na sila but dili sila leader. Murag di sila gusto nga ma-leader sila. And most likely the informal leaders and have limited resources than innovators and early adapters. So kana lang sila mga meaning muliyok man gid sila kay active man sila, di ba? So, informal leaders ang tawag nila. Gamay na ang ilang resources. Kaysa innovator, nga naanagi direct. So, ang early adapters, ni follow raman, naanagi yun. So, sila gamay na ilang resources. So, kanang early majority, they adapt the new ideas after they are convinced of its value as seen from early adapters. Okay. Ayaan nila i-adapt ang technologies or ideas after sila makonvince mo, kailangan pa nato sila i-convince na gamito na na. So sila ang early majority. Okay?
Ikaw pat ang atong late majority. So skeptical sila. They're skeptical about new information and ideas. The late majorities make up a large block of farmers in the community have less education. So gamay lang, gamay lang ilang na human. Hindi no? sila college literacy degree. And they are older than the early majority. So mas tigulang-tigulang. Nasa na sa mga 50s to 60s. So they are less active in association and organization. And mo-adapt lang sila sa katong innovation o sa technology na atong gi-introduce when it is majority by the community. So sila ang late majority. Murag, makaingon sila ba nga? Ay sa murag, kami na, kita naman lang ang wala pa na iana. So musulod na lang ta kay kita naman lang atong siling na ana. So murag, kung majority na yun, ayara sila mo lihok. Now, muna sila ang late late majority. Kung naay nga na, naapod, gitawag na itong nga guards, traditional. They adapt the innovation but they are the last people to adapt the innovation. Kaya ka na ito, uh, mga, mga tigulang man sila, no? usually the oldest and least educated and wealthy. They are not risk taker. So mas nituo sila nga uh, maunang tinu tinuuhan nila. No, maunang tinuuhan nila. So ingana ang pagtuo nila. So nagtuo sila sa ilang mga pamahiin, ingana sila. Mayana magyumbita sila nga anong mo-adapt ang technology nga mo man ang na practice ang kaluluhan, kaluluhan, kanunuhan pag sa una, di ba? So laggards ang tawag, traditional na sila. Siguro mo-adapt lang siguro sila kung tanan na gyud. Tanan ug sila lang nabilin. So sila ang last gid na mo adapt sa technology because they are suspicious of the innovation mura na nay pagduda ba ah murag na kaya mo gayna mo sa una ang gato nga ang practice kana pa karon kay basic din na maayo di ba na ila mga pagduda so, so duda sila sa innovation nagduda pud sila sa innovator ug labaw sila nay pagduda sa kanang uh, change agent sa mga extension worker o maka lang sila sa ilang innovation, depend lang sa ilang mga past experiences. So sila ang mga laggards or traditional. So maunang atong categories of adapters. Kung sa ganyan ang pinakauna, okay, kamo sa daw itingog diha pa signawala na mo. Kung sa pinakauna? Innovator. 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 Sika doha? Early, Early adapters. adapters. Early adapters. Sika tulo? Early majority. Early majority. Early majority. Early majority. Late, 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 majority. Late, majority. late majority. Late majority. And last one? Laggards. Laggards. Yes. Important. Laggards. Kaya lang ang mga topic. Kaya mga end topic na sa hapon bitaw nga kung discuss is maugid. No, halos ang manggawa sa itong board exam. Katong kayo nabuntag is gamay na ang mukas sa board exam but it's very important yun to know no, the history of extension. So kanagid ang akong ingon sa inyo. No? Kailangan lang gina to to be familiarized. Okay? So I would like to share other uh, relevant topics para sa inyo. Ha? So of course, kabalo naman ito, no? um, atong board exam sa extension, mo-focus po ta, not totally on the book, di ba? Mo-focus ta sa mga trending topics on the community, uh, on the agricultural projects of, of President Marcos Caron, uh, on sa mga issues on the agricultural uh, extension. So kailangan tag mga current issues, no current trends. But akining uh, current trends is uh, general ni akong current trends na share it's about uh, COVID-19 na to, no kay basin dai karon nga gyud mugawas ning exam, di ba? So I would like to share the COVID-19. Uh, total population din nako ana no kay naa naman kaganina. So COVID-19, uh, update lang nato. Of course, basin mugawas ni sa board exam pud po no. Uh, sa economic, so review lang kita. Okay? So COVID-19, it was first reported from Wuhan, China on December 31, 2019. So muna ang siya nga, COVID-19. Napagit sa last day of uh, the year, no December 31, 2019. Okay, muna ang COVID-19. Wagit siya na COVID-20. And the first case, there is a Pilipinas na identify on January 30, 2020. No, ang ang una na na takdan anang COVID 
a 38-year-old Chinese woman who was confined at San Lazaro Hospital in Metro Manila. Okay? January 30, nag so good kang 38-year-old Chinese woman. But ang Pilipinas na confirm sa first local transmission because it is uh, the, the COVID-19 is made in China mang yun. Uh, the first local transmission was reported on March 7, 2020. Kaya na-report naman na anata yung local transmission so dito na nag ang mga tao. So pag-abot sa March 15, 2020, ang national and local government nag-impose sila o gitawag na ito nga community quarantine no? since March 15, 2020. So na mga community quarantines nga involved. So on sa gibuhat ng gobyerno ni Duterte, so nag-declare sila o state of calamity over all of the Philippines on March 16, 20. So cut off na di ang mga classes. So diyan ang sugod na wala kita na. No? Murag, ang tao makahalok na gawas, mingaw na din sa gawas, yan na yung mga community quarantines. So by the virtue of proclamation number 929 that is signed um, by President Duterte, the declaration brings into effect for six months. Six months lang yung declaration nila. Niya. So, declaration is price control sa mga basic needs, granting interest-free loans, distribution of calamity funds, authorization of import and receipt of donation, of mga hazard fee, you know, hazard fee sa mga public health workers. Okay? So, mo lang na ang update, but again, mo search po mo of mga current issues, no more on agricultural extension in the Philippines or in economics, yeah, po, no, kay Usay connected mang good ang extension of economics. Okay? Connected na sila. So, basin ang current issues economics, gibutang pag sa subject na extension. Mo lang, need na makawalo sa mga balita balita gyapon okay near gyapon ta mutang og tv but naata sa mga balita no kay more information or newspaper basa lang gyud ta okay kay naray makatabang sa inyo mga maman sir okay so um that's the end no of my presentation on the subject agricultural extension and communication so actually to this yud unta ni siya to nga una to pero yapas na ko na sakit na gyud sa turon la na to Pero, one day raman ang giingon. So, let's have this one day. And, thankful po kung ano man gapon tanong. Bisa kung sanay oras, 5.30 siguro. So, I hope, no, uh, naka-learn na mo. Okay, naka-learn mo sa ako ang uh, subject. Okay ba? Na, na ba mo yung nahibalan, mga maman, sir? Uh, Na-refresh ba in yung mind? Yes, sir. Okay, no, hopefully nga makatabang sa inyo and my prayers ng big board nga makapasar mo tanan, especially sa atong PBCC o sa atong SN issue, mainit campus. So, yes, let's pray that. Let's pray to the Lord na tananta, mahimog agriculturist kita, okay? So, kanak gila tong yan po. Ako lang, study lang gila mo because we have that um, napaka ka months na lang siguro dayo, no? So, pila ka months na lang, pila ka months na lang ang maka, kuha na yun ta, okay? Maka exam na yun ta. So, wait lang. Hindi siya din. Sabi kong tanaw ka yun. Ba't sila? Ba't sila nagkasinapot? Okay, so, but before that, may request everyone lang po na mag-open sa camera. So before ta mag-end, to have a group picture lang para karon sa atong discussion. Sige, ayaw mo kaulaw, pakita inyong mga naong mga guwapa o mga guwapo ng mga naong diya, maman sir. Kaya e basta hindi ay nasa yung top na chair. Hindi na may balang nga, hindi na yung sa ako ah. No, na ang top na church sa inyo. Hindi na mamansin na yun. Delikado yun. Okay? So, sige kayo. Mag-group pictures ata. 
before we end uh, this uh, program. Sige lang, balag, bagong mata niya, bagong tulog. On, on the camera, sige na. Ay, gaw lang. Ma'am, ay kay... Ay, 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 ako raman sa sir. Ay, gaw lang kay... Ang uban niya, no? Saan ang uban? Gamay raman ito na. Igor raman siguro ito sa bangko, ma'am. Igor raman ito sa bangko. Ito raman ruyo nga brand. Buha raman ka ay sinamber. Pwede sa likod raman. So, Iko raman ta sa bangko na nasulod raman gyud kita. Kinabatanan napa ay taga PBC nga si uh, Abel Dave Bold, Sir Abel Dave, Aldimar. So pakiyon na sa inyong camera and we have that. Mas barato na ta. Group pictures. Okay. Sige, 1 2 3. Ayun sa Firefly. Napa iban, wa pa Okay, 1 2 3 isa pa. Awit na ito ko cellphone. Okay, one, two, three, smile. Okay, thank you, ma'am and sir. Noon ta, magkita-kita ta sa inyong school or dali sa Cagayan Pon na sa pag-board exam ninyo. Huwag ito pa na sa inyong lugar. Huwag ito niyo, huwag ito pa na sa inyong lugar. So, gusto yung mga sa inyong Again, no, thank you. And this discussion, pwede mo mag-team sa ato ka, mag-press sa Facebook. And... Uh, sa pag, mag-message lang mo no, kung gusto mo mangayo and maghatag kong exam sa inyo practice quiz ninyo depende lang kung makariskas po balik sa inyo but nakoy paansiran sa inyo ansiran ninyo kay ang ma-perfect rabaan ni kay matagaan gito ang kwarta pero ayaw mo, pangapin na don't cheat so panagin importante ayaw it kay nag-discuss na ko na lang one good happy good mo So don't cheat lang and um tawag pa man dayon lang. Okay na ba? Ano pa ba yung mga pamuta na? Basig ano yung mga concern? Ito lang PowerPoint sir, mga ayo miato sir. Mag PM lang mi sir. Mga tag mo na lang din mahala kay wa tapos sa balo unsa man. Okay, mo out na mi sir kay magluto pag panihapon. Basta usa pa gyud basin na pa may concern na alahi. Salamat kayo sir. Salamat gyud kayo so Oh, sige na, magluto pag paniapon. Sige, bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you sa inyo. Thank you. Salamat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and God bless. So, pwede na tayo mag-leave and salamat. Salamat. Wala pa nga naman. Wala pa nga mapapasalagin na. Okay. Oh, you mean I'm not going to get on the edge.